All right, so our raids are, how fast is this? This is like 14, 13? 13 frames. 13 with a question mark, it says, but that's uh, 13 frames. All right. And we know it's a high. It's probably safe on block, right? Oh, I don't need to have the AI do it. Just have her block it. Negative nine, safe with pushback. Of course, it's a high, so duck it, right? It was a high, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, and a sub. Enjoy the Marduk emote. Woo. Like how you have the War Drums of Kazuya's team mixed with John Cena's team. <laughs> That's a good way to start a stream. I appreciate it. Thanks, amigo. All right, this is her uh, Rage Drive. Comes out at 15 frames, but it is a quarter circle forward input. So, uh, as a block punish, 17 frames, let's say. Um, it actually might be 15 still, because quarter circle inputs are a little weird. They're not the same as, like, forward forward or, uh, you know, shit like that. Oh. Plus five, you're pretty far away on block, and that looks like it forces crouch. Find out. Ugh. Quarter circle forward, right? Okay. Ah, oh, boy, this is gonna take me a few tries here. I'm trying to do it as fast as possible off of a jab recovery. Maybe I'll do a one-two instead. Oh my god! <laughs> Why is that coming out? Thank you. All right, so first things first. Forces crouch? Yes, okay. Second thing, how's it track? Not too great. Oh, not good at all. Quite linear on that one, but the space, it covers a lot of space. And I'm guessing the second hit will still give her the juggle, right? It sure does. And it is mid mid. Like with most other rage drives in jail, so it doesn't even allow you to swing between them. Not that you should be, but you know. I like to check that just in case. So you won't be able to input armor or even dragon punch in between each hit. Uh, I get why you guys like Kiryu, but Tekken couldn't get uh, trending hashtags on Twitter with characters like that. I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, you know, Negan's a character I don't give a fuck about, but you know, I'm going to learn him. And uh, we're all going to learn him, so because we have to. And he might end up being fun to play. Personally, I think Noctis is a little bit fun to play. I just don't like the way he looks. And I don't like the way his moves look. And he's very bland. He's like Lars. He's like the Lars of JRPGs. That's what Noctis is. He's lame. All right, so standard 1-2 plus 5 on block. 10 frame startup. Stand jab, 10 frames, plus one, negative one on her one, two. Nothing unusual here. We know this. Very, very, very uh, standard shit with the jabs. Uh, what was the damage, though? Uh, damage was uh, 17 damage. Uh, I never paid this in the jab damage average, to be honest with you guys. Whatever. So, just like Nina, you got one, two, three to go into the low kick. That's negative 14. Although, off of the jabs, it does push, her, push you out kind of far. So, let's say I think Kazumi will be unable to block punishes. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I really think she will, but she can low parry it, obviously. Um, and on hit, it's probably negative three, right? Yep, negative three, and it also pushes out just like Nina. If you already know Nina, you're at an advantage because a lot of her strings mechanically are the same. Especially off of the jab series, right? <clears throat> one, two, four. Actually, uh, Anna has incomplete versions of some of these things because Nina sometimes could go into this out of her jazz strings, and Anna cannot in those situations. It's weird. All right, one, two, four. Very delayable. One, two, 
One, two, three is also delayable, by the way. Oops. Yeah. Pretty delayable. I should check the counter hit. Minus three. Okay. Shit damage, minus three, push out. The four is knocked back. One, two, four. Same thing. Knock back on normal hit. And then on block. Negative six. It's not a 10 frame. If the second hit counter hits, the four is guaranteed. Just like two, four. Just like Nina. Two, four is the same thing as one, two, four. Uh, but you need a counter hit for it to combo. The two, four. But it is a 10 frame. So a 10 frame counter hit. You already got a 10 frame counter hit knockback. Right there. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, so yeah, one two four is also a core screw. Very shit damage because it comes out of jabs. And then we got one two one four. This is frost needle, right? That's a high launcher. That's say a uh, plus, plus on block. That's important to remember. I forgot about this frost needle. Right. Can she delay it? So her <laughs> her one two cannot be delayed, but the moment just like Nina, the moment you get to the third jab, the third one, you could delay it. One two one, right? And I think that's important because that's a counter hit launcher. That's plus five on block. A plus seven on block. Sorry. Oh, I forgot the. I'll get it. I'll get it. It's been a while since I did this stuff. I actually practiced these court circle for one juggles before in the past games. If you want the nerd combo. Oh my god, range. Oh, they didn't even come out. Oh, it's fucking forward three. Forward three. Sixty-three plus thirteen. Seventy-three. Seventy-six damage. And I think there I whiffed the counter hit jab too. Uh, Manny Biggle, what's going on, Silas? Uh, what's good, Till? How's it going? Yes, I'm just starting. Uh, we're gonna knock, knock this moves are stylish, but I'm the only one who like him. Uh, knock this giant sword moves are cool, that's about it. I agree. Does that stream jail? One, two, one jails. The last hit does not. She's just like Nina in that regard. Unless she delays. If she delays, then it doesn't jail, but I'm holding down, see? And the recovery on this is slow, so if you duck it, you could definitely punish her easily. So keep that in mind. This is a pretty strong gimmick. For people who don't know this matchup, this is your number one. This is gimmick number one out of the long list of gimmicks we're going to I'll explain with this character. This is one of them for sure. Uh, but if you want to see, she could do one, two, f uh, four times. All right, two times, so four jabs. I'm holding. Um, after I block the first one, I'm holding down. See, jails. But if you're trying to counter hit bait. Oh, a little bit. You got to stagger it. That's the only way it's a counter hit bait on the jab. If you don't stagger it, it jails. So I can't press anything. I can't duck. So you can't counter hit bait unless you uh, delay the third jab. But if you do that, I could duck the third jab. See? All right. Um, I didn't test uh, sidestepping. I don't think you can either. Yeah, no. The moment you block that third jab, you have to duck or stand. That's why there's no low option. <laughs> or mid option, rather. All right. Oh, there is a low option, but there's no mid option, so there's no mix up here. Right, so we got a high and a low. 
So that one is negative two. And negative 13 on block. And it also pushes out quite a bit here. I delayed it on purpose. Yeah, so that's a counter hit string, just like the high launcher. Okay. All right, and I got no problem punishing it. Uh, scary to finish a string against average players. I mean, whatever. Uh, haven't ball yet. Only lay. Yeah, I got the season pass only on PC so far. I'm a little uh, tight on money for the week, and I need to save what I have left for Metro Card and lunch money. So. Alright, so yeah. This is just like uh, Nina. Weak-ass low kick options. But what's important is 1-2-1 one, one is only negative 3. So you got a high and a low bait option if people mash on you after 1-2-1. One, one. And negative 3, you could still sidestep. And sidestep is extra good for Anna. We'll get there later because she has like some really good unique sidestep moves. So, that's really how you got to use these strings. It's not about the uh, built-in mix-up. It's about the built-in options, making people stand still so you can do other shit. That's what it's about. And you can still delay the forfeit, too. Okay, you cannot delay Frost Needle, the high kick. You can delay the low. See? Frost Needle, you have to commit to. 1, 2, 1, 4. I'm trying to start... I'm trying to remember these move names now. At least the moves with significant names. Are like, I'm not going to say left-right combo. I'm going to say fucking jabs. You know? Le Left-right to left low kick. But when I see a unique name, I'm going to try to start remembering these moves. Frost Needle. Especially since it helps like this. Right-left Frost Needle. We know what Frost Needle is already. So now we know that she could go into it at a 2-1. Not just 1-2-1. One, and just like with 2-4, what I talked about earlier, I'm going to talk about again when it comes up. All this means is you're skipping the first jab. And you're starting from the second jab. That's still not a um, counter hit. But, much like how she could delay the third jab, you could do two delayed one. And use it the exact same way. And of course, she could do 2-1 down 4. Just like 1-2-1 one, one down 4. Just like Nina. But Nina doesn't have Frost Nina, but Nina's jab strings work the same. 2-1 <clears throat> by itself is, is a natural combo. Uh, but it's negative. Uh, sorry, it's plus 4 on a hit. <sighs> negative 3 on block, so it's not it's not no 1-2. That's for sure. Uh, Biting Snake. It's funny how this is called Biting Snake here, but here it's called Jab Low Kick. Even though it's the same shit. Negative two. A lot of range on that. A lot of range. Uh, one, two, one, four. It is a one, two counter catch. Yes, Gandhi. I, I said that already. I said that already. The only way that works is if you delay the third one. The third jab. You have to delay the third jab. 1-2-1 one, one, jails, so that's not a counter hit catch unless you delay it. No problem, no problem. Trust me, I go super in-depth. I mean, I'll look over to see if you guys catch anything that I miss, but... I, like, you know... I try to go pretty thorough in my testing here, which is why I take a few hours always. Alright, so... Straight to Face Wash. That's a great name for a move, and I think this is her 10-frame punish. Uh, yep, that's a 10 frame jab punish. I don't know how good it is in a neutral. It's only plus, it's it's even on hit and it pushes out. So you can back dash to set up whip punishes. Or you can just go right into her 1 2 series. Because the other thing about Nina and Anna's 1 2s is uh, you could do them really fast. And if people duck and try to wall standing, people have a tendency to like when they know the matchup, they duck and they wait. They don't duck and they go right into wall standing because then they're wall standing right into the jab. Like, so for example. Trying to give you guys an example here what I'm talking about. 
So if I fuck up a while standing punish, right? That's the kind of thing that could happen. And that's with the delay. Even without the delay, that could happen. Redeemer! Oh my god. <laughs> He's the one I was talking about earlier. That motherfucker right there kicked the shit out of me yesterday with fucking Jin. With some scumbag Jin play. <laughs> Never stop pressing buttons. <laughs> you know why I'm doing Anna, John. <laughs> What's going on? So yeah, this is her 10 frame Punisher. Uh, let's see how it is on block. Hmm, it's negative 11 on block, so straight up punish. You don't want to just use this raw like that. Is there any counter properties on that mid? No. Nope. Straight up. Straight up. Oh, wow. I just found that out by accident. Okay. Okay, I was about to say, like, her jab tracks like Brian's? Not quite. All right, so I found that out by accident, but she goes into Chaos Judgment. Yes, if you hold back. And that's probably going to change up the frame data. This is reality. <laughs> this is reality. All right, um, Chaos Judgment. I talked about it a few times now, right? This stance, when you see her lift up her knee so she can show you her cooter. Uh, what this stance does is it auto crushes lows and you guys probably have seen that on Twitter already because there's a bunch of glitch videos of her low crushing rage drives and nothing happens like she'll low crush devil Jin's rage drive it whiffs and then the dot the jumping mid kick afterwards just goes right through her and she's just standing there like I don't give a fuck it's weird and the same thing with Horang's um, what's the what it's supposed to do is uh, auto hop kicks right so let's see for example if I do it out of this right so if I try to go low on her, th that's what happens. Now, that low crush, that automatic low crush follows the uh, generic reversal rules. If you have a low that is a shoulder, a knee, a headbutt, like a, you know, Fang's quarter circle from one shoulder, it does not crush that. Lay's crane stance does, uh, still crushes that stuff. So you could, I don't think Anna has a low knee or anything like that, but if you have one, you can do that to her. The other thing this stance does is it auto reverses throws and you cannot chicken this you can't chicken it right and uh was it different animation for the one throw no it's the same animation okay not that much damage but you know the uh, general idea is she's forcing you to choose a higher mid attack and the thing is, if you go high on her, she can cross dash at us. Now, I don't know how this is on block. We'll get there, but... Right? Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh, yes. Eliminate three of your offensive choices here. <laughs> so, if you're going to swing at this stance, you got you got to go mid. Just make sure you go with a safe mid. Because I don't know if she could block out of it. Um... <clears throat> okay, she cannot block out of it, so she has to commit. What's up, Haruken? Shit's bugged, though. Yeah, I talked about it already. Uh, does she reverse all throws, even command back? Command grabs? She sure does. Wait, what's her grab? Not that. There it is. Yep. All grabs. All, like, you know, normal grabs, at least. I don't know about special grabs, like a demon flip or anything like that, but... I don't know how often you're gonna see a demon flip catch a chaos. You know what? I should just test it, right? I don't think I don't think it's gonna reverse that, but we should be sure. Um, where is he? Oh wow, they moved him down here. Am I uploading this to you? No, I'm uploading it to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna upload it for sure. Like always, if you scroll down, you'll see the YouTube link. I've done this with several characters already. Take a sip of water here. Ah. So how do I demon flip with Akuma? I never played him. 
There it is. That's Dima Flip. No. How do I Dima Flip with this asshole? Damn, he has to do that. That, that timing is weird. What the fuck? Alright, that window might be... Hmm. How about I just... I don't know. Dash and then do it. Okay. Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah. Demon Flip has to be that good. Otherwise, his mix-up game, which is the only thing he has going for him. His mix-up game and his damage suck if Demon Flip sucks. So that doesn't surprise me. Demon Flip is not a normal throw. Demon Flip grab, I should say, not Demon. Flip. Demon Flip isn't a throw, but it's that hop that he does. Mm -mm. Yeah, she cannot block, so go mid. If you see Chaos Judgment and you know she's in negative. Hit her with a mid. You gotta have your mid locked and loaded. Now let's see what the actual frame data is when she connects her 10 frame and goes to Chaos Judgment. Uh, so to do that, we have to look at the Chaos Judgment options. Okay, so that's the fast one. That's a 11 frame high. That That's a slow one. 27 frames. There's a 12 frame mid. And another 10 frame high. So that's the actual fastest one. That's probably a string, but we don't care about the string. We just want to see the frame data. Because <clears throat> second bot kind of wilds out when you do this kind of thing. So, on block, let's see. Right? Obviously, it's not plus. Oh, negative three. Negative three. On block. Interesting. So now... Uh, Chaos Judgment 3. Damn, all her options are so fast. It's going to be hard to test. I'm going to have to use the 27 frame low. <laughs> Wait, we have more. 15 frame low? That's pretty fucking fast. 17 frames. That's good. Let's try that one more time. Make sure I got it as fast as possible. All right. That probably crushes high, so I'm gonna cross that. That's not a cross tap. She has a down back one? Okay. Okay. Uh hmm. So she's at least plus seven. That's a crush, though. That's a crush. Uh, Twenty. Okay. That's too slow. Do I have an eighteen frame? What's up, Frozen Zerker? How's it going? 16. 20, but it's armor. I mean, I tried 20 already. 17, but she sidesteps. Hmm. Well, let's try it anyway. What is this song? This is Second 2's music. I don't know what the fuck this song is. So she's probably like at plus 10, plus 11. But I need 16 frame to test that for sure. And I had one before, I forgot it already. There it goes. Nope, I beat her out with 16, but my 17 loss. Right? I need a normal 17 frame move. Anybody know a 17 frame move forward for? Forward four cru low crushes. Down back one is 16. That's 18. 
11. That's 11? Fuck. That's 60 frames. 20. Yeah, this is not consistent. That's 17, but it looks like a low crush. Let's just try it. Yeah. Blonde Bomb is uh, 16, I think. 18, it's too slow. Um, we already know that uh, eight, uh, what was it? 18 loss. Oh, sorry, 18 wins? Wait, what the fuck is going on? Wait, 18 wins, 16 wins. Did I get hit? Okay. What's 20? Um. Twenty lost, right? Yeah, twenty lost. That looks like it, it, you know, it's not even that it's a whiff. It just looked like it beat it out. Uh, so nineteen should exchange. Anybody got nineteen? Cat, uh, cat down three is too fast. Nineteen, but crushes. See, <laughs> low profile. There it is. Um. I don't think I have a 19. Elbow? Nah, elbow's the course to go forward. It's uh, 13 frames. Yeah. All right. I I'm going to call it and say that uh, 19 frames would exchange here because 18 beats out and this uh, 20 frame. I don't think this is a low profile situation. I think it's just losing clean. So if a 27 frame move, you guys do the math. If a 27 frame move is beating out a 20 frame move, that means she's at plus eight, right? Right? Uh, no problem. I mean, I just started recently. You didn't miss too much, Sayuka. I just talked about the jab. The important gimmicky shit that you missed is if you do one, two, one, and you delay the third one, you have a counter hit plus seven high launcher. One, two, delay one, four. That's uh, That kick in the end is a high, but it's plus seven. And uh, even then, you could just kind of do the whole thing so it jails and then throw out the one in the end. I mean, the four in the end, sorry. Frost Needle. And then you could do the same thing with 2-1-4. Two, two, delay 1-4. To catch people uh, pressing buttons during your jab strings. That's, like, probably the biggest gimmicky shit that you missed. Um, it's a lot like Nina, except Nina doesn't have that high launcher. It's plus seven on block out of it. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to say that this is plus eight for now until somebody, like, gets some better hard data. I'm not going to get to go too crazy on this. So, plus eight is great considering all her moves outside of the low are way faster than <laughs> 18 frames, basically. So, you're going to beat out pretty much everything. And I know she has some counter hit tools out of this stupid stance, too. Which uh, I'm not going to get too crazy on right now, but see, that's plus 15. Uh, no launcher for her, though. Get fucked. Yeah, hit him with that ass. Oh, no. That's plus 15 on normal hit. Hit him with that ass. Uh, that's uh, the kick is a launcher, right? Oop. No, oh, that's a low juggle starter. Okay. The mid. The mid is a... Yeah, the mid is a counter hit launcher. That's 12 frames. That 1 plus 2 just forces crouch. And uh, the low is just the same thing on counter here, right? Yeah, it doesn't change. Yeah, you get a launcher, forward, forward, three. Fit, that's 15? All right, so it's not 15 as a block punish. Are you sure that you get that, though? That's not easy if you get that. Are you sure you get that? <laughs> I don't think you get that, Milo. I think you would need 16. Much like how uh, Katarina's forward forward two is a 12 frame move. And uh, you punish with it at 13 frames. 
The opponent is probably mashing. You're going to want to test it here. Or on yourself. By recording it. I mean, we know that her uh, Rage Art is going to work out of this because it's 13 frames. Uh, cat 1, back 2, 2, down, back 3. Okay. Well, that's cool. But she got the same thing off of uh, this. Wait. Alright. No, that's too far. Yeah, that's too far. You hit that. You hit him with that ass off of that. That ass. Alright. Man, that damage sucks. Alright. I'm not going to get too hung up on it. Plus 8 on the 2-3 transition. And we'll get to the cat stance. For those of you who don't know what, what cat stance, that's Chaos Judgment. It's an uh, outdated terminology, I would say. When people type it out in uh, chats and shit, it's C-A-T, cat stance. So if you see C-A-T-1, that's Chaos Judgment 1. It's for the people that are watching this on YouTube wondering, what the fuck is cat stance? 2-4, um, we talked about this already. It's just like 1-2-4. Uh, and it's a counter hit 10 frame knockback. And just like 1, 2, 4, it's going to be a negative 6 on block with a lot of pushback. Doesn't jail, I think. Yeah, no jail. No jail. Uh, back 2, 2 doesn't work on females because they can slap back. I know about that. You could also pick up uh, Kuma with this, right? That was a thing. You could pick up Kuma with this. As a 15 frame punish. For those of you that wonder what that means. Uh, what do I got to match it to? Wait, is it this? Is this is this the slaps that you... Oh, it is. Okay, I just saw it. Yeah, see? If you're a female character, you could slap her back after the first slap, though. Not the second. So you have to, like, react to the first slap to do it. See? And if you're too slow, you're going to exchange. It's, it's the thing that Anna's always had. And Nina has it, too, with a different move, uh, one of her slap moves. It's one of those weird things. It's like uh, uh, the Easter egg when Brian, like, la laughs when he gets caught in that uh, bear grab. Damn, I'm not, like... It's like a just-frame timing. That shit is like a just-frame timing to interrupt. No, oh, well, whatever. Uh, Katarina can't slam back. Oh, I'm sure that's causing a lot of people to make some whack-ass jokes. Alright, um, jab sweep, which is not really a sweep, let's be real, because you're not sweeping her. That's a stupid name for this move. You're not sweeping, you're kicking her in the fucking shin with this shit. Uh, it's just like one, two, down three, exactly the same thing, except you can counter hit into it, and it combos. It's negative three on hit, pushes out a lot, uh, negative 14 on block. It is a 10 frame jab into a low, so it's like a cheap round ender, but it is negative 14, so be careful with that one. 3-3-2. Three, three, ah, yes, this is a Nina classic. Anna Nina classic. So, uh, you can't really delay it, can you? That's weird, you can't delay it. Um, you can counter hit on the low, and it's basically just like down 2-3, it launches. What I do want to say about this is if for some reason the first hit whiffs that low is probably going to track because down two three tracks really good it's basically a homie move see you got to respect that oh i think i was just out of range there yeah see another thing down three and any variate anytime you see this move whether it's a chest to a string or not it's a lot like Asuka's can -cans, I think, and a lot of, like, strings that, like, oh, they need counter hit, but they come out kind of fast. That's 16. Asuka's can -cans is, uh, 14 frames, I think. Um, the thing about these moves is it'll often hit you, and it won't hit you as a counter hit, but you're still gonna get launched, and you're gonna wonder why. You know when it happens most often, I notice, is when I get hit while sidestepping. And I know it happens to other people, too, because you still focus on sidestepping that you're not pressing back. 
And then the moment you don't press back, bam, that second hit is going to slap you into the sky. And it's very obnoxious. Once upon a time, this was like negative 17 for both Williams sisters. Now it's negative 13 ever since tag two. So the same thing applies to this. So you could like, I guess, fish for it off of that kick by itself. It's pretty gimmicky. I don't know. I don't know if it's any good. I think in tag two, this thing was all right because you could tag out of this launcher for jungles, I think. I don't know if anybody used it for that, but I'm just kind of making an assumption here. Um, the, the first high is 14 frame startup, and it combos into the second. Yeah, so at le it at least combos into the second. Uh, negative five on hit, though, and the low is like negative six. Oh, wow, that's natural? Oh, it's natural. I assume there would be counter hit, to be honest with you guys. That's natural. A long range 14 frame. So I guess this could be like a bootleg long range 14 frame punish in situations where your normal 14 frame might not reach. I don't know. What is that? 25? No, it's not. Never mind. Ignore what I just said. I don't know. This string sucks. This is like a legacy string that she's had forever now. Uh, but she does have 334. Three, and that's when it starts getting weird. So this is a lot like Nina's string that ends with that overhead kick that's plus on block. So far, this one's plus two though. And just like Nina's string, it starts a counter hit. Not as good on block though. It uh, starts to juggle on counter hit. Yeah. I don't know where her best pickup would be, but there you go. Forward two threes, 14. Yeah, I think forward two threes new. And that has a lot of range too, so never mind about... Ignore what I said about 3-3 being a 14 frame block punish. Don't do it that way. <laughs> you have way better options. Um, so, hmm, I don't know how I would use this string other than like a kind of gimmicky pressure tool, to be honest with you. Just like the Nina string. I'm going to assume it has the same weakness as the Nina string too. Which is you could sidestep the last hit. Yep. Oh, we'll talk about that size set one plus two soon enough. And just like the Nia stream, the third hit is a high. So it's always a high that goes into that. So you could duck the high. But the idea is, oh, if you duck the high, then she'll do the low mid, the down 3-2 version. And then you're going to get launched. So don't, there's no, just like with Nina, there's no reason to duck that high. You know, always, uh, if you see the high... Side step right. If you see the mid come out, you know that it ends there and you punish with 13 frames. Just like Nina. Just like Nina. All right. Like I said, Nina's version doesn't end with that downward punch. It ends with like a, a, a downward hook kick. Kind of like Lily's uh, down forward three, I think it is. It ends with something like that. Thanks for the follow, baby. Baby Minaj. Um... This probably might be a, a, a floor spike tool for juggles, I guess. Nah, it doesn't look good at that. It doesn't look good for that. Yeah, nah. I mean, I'm assuming if you hit him out of the air with that, it spikes. So, wall combo, I don't know. B slap. You know what the B stands for. Four, uh, three, four. This is an actual 14 frame punish that's worth a shit. Um, knockback, 34 damage. Just like that, they will both wall splat, but this is a full knockdown. While this is just a spin. So, you could you could pick your poison. Do you want to spin them and keep them standing at negative at, uh, 12? Although, you're, kinda, you're very far away, so you have to, like, get in their face. Um, or do you want to just knock them back? Personally, I'd go with the knockback. That's me. Ah... <sighs> Down 341 is plus, correct. You can only use down 341 at the wall. Okay, just like Nina, she has a shortened version of it. Just like the down 32. See, the mix up is off of the down 3 also. Yeah, it's plus 2. Nina's version is, I think, plus 4. Uh, let me check if hers forces crash. Same thing applies to down 341. It's just a shortened version. 
So you don't want to duck that. You want to sidestep it right. Oh. Oh, why is this happening? Oh. 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 Left? Wait, what? Am I crazy? Was it always left? This is weird. Mm, why is this like this? Range. It's got to be the range. It's got to be the push out that's doing this. That's my guess. It's the push out. Tekken is weird like that sometimes. Oh my god, you got to... <laughs> So to sidestep this, you have to realize which one she's doing. Well, let's see. If it, if it is range, I could space this out, right? Oh my god, no. It's just like that. That is not like Nina's. Why the fuck? It's the same move. The B slap. <laughs> well, whatever. So the B slap... Uh, yeah, forces crouch at negative two, so she's plus two. Her hat on the floor has recovery frames. Uh, forward two, three is four. Yeah, we talked about that already. Yeah, this could just be a weird Anna thing, but I don't think Anna, I think Anna has above average sidestepping, so I don't know what the fuck the deal is with that. That's fucking weird. Oh, boy. All right, so uh, three, four. What we didn't check with the three is the tracking. I don't check the tracking on jabs because they're jabs. You know the jab rules. And I don't think anybody has jabs like Brian's that tracks to one side. I'll check, but I don't think she has. Oh! Man, you spoke too soon! You spoke too soon! Why is it every character that Milo play as does this? <laughs> I'm not even holding forward on that recording. Damn, it follows the Brian rules. You can't step her jab left. <laughs> All right, we got to give this the true test here. Hold on a second. Don't ever ignore this again. We got to give this the real test. The real sidestep test. Tekken always proving me wrong. Always making me look stupid. Leo's about to get tracking. <laughs> Leo's about to get sidestep uh, left tracking on the jab. <laughs> what the fuck, man? If this one move that shouldn't have that kind of tracking, it's jabs, honestly. But whatever. Yeah, alright. Maybe it's just the Anna thing. Lily breaking rules. That's weird. You would think Anna would have better sidestepping. That's not right. It's not right at all. <laughs> Anna has weak sidestep? That's weird, man. You wouldn't think that, but whatever. Especially since he has sidestep moves. Oh! You know who doesn't have weak sidestepping, right? Kazumi. So Lily's the only one breaking this rule. I mean, who, who, who's the other one that's up there with Lily? I don't think it's anybody's up there with Lily, honestly. Well, uh, Alisa comes close, right? Anna's not bad. Don't don't give me that Anna's bad bullshit. Force your offense. Anna's bad if you're blocking. If you're blocking, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> to be honest with you, you gotta force your mix-ups for Anna. And that's probably why she won't be top tier ever again. She was, like, considered really good in either 5.0 or DR. I forget. I think it was DR. Maybe both of them. And I'm pretty sure I've heard people say she's, like, really good in tag one. I just remember everybody crying about the, the wine opener nerf in tag two. And it's like, that alone was enough to get people to be like, oh, and it sucks now. Boo-hoo. I get punished now. What a shame. Ah, Alisa! Fucking robot with jiggle physics. Anybody else got good sidestep? Hmm. Let's 
try Kazuya. He seems like a pretty average uh, sidestepper. Right. If you're an Ana player, you're probably going to want to go through the whole cast with this because this is very good info. Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea how good Nina and Anna's jab strings are? And then you know that you can't fucking step their jab string. Oh my god, that's so fucked up. That's so fucked up. Oh. Right in your face. Oh, wait, he got her on it. Oh, he didn't that time. He, it's inconsistent. He got her on it one time. Mondo, cool. Thanks for the follow. Wow, what is that name? Zilla Mishima? By the way, here's a buff. I don't know if he's still there, John. Johnny boy. Your homeboy Kazuya got buff. Although that's also a nerf because they made that worse on block awesome. So it's a buff nerf. But the buff is way better than a nerf for him. Unless you're fighting Josie or another Kazuya. So I guess Anna is on average sidestep. Not above average. Hmm, down back too. I didn't even try that. Alright. <sighs> I mean, Eddie can't sidestep shit. You could probably back two around it. Or back one plus two. That got changed. I forgot. All right, so yeah, we were talking about her jabs. Now let's check the tracking on her standing three. I did check the tracking on her standing two by itself. We're gonna use the robot for this. The robot. Oh, negative three. Oh, negative three. Check it out. This is why you gotta test the range. Don't just assume plus one and negative one is all you need. Okay, interesting. Lily will probably get around that neg <laughs> at uh, plus three, negative three, whatever. Because Lily breaks the rules, man. Alright, so next we got four, three. Which, uh, for uh, Nina, she could go into uh, into down 3-2. But for some reason, Anna never had that. I don't know why. 4-3. Oh, wow. That fucks that up. 4-3 um, is not natural. So it's another way to sneak in a low poke. If you want to end around, I guess. You could sneak a low poke off her magic 4. What's up, Slayer? Oh, down back 2 knocks down a normal hit. Gotcha. I haven't looked through uh, Kazuya stuff, new stuff yet, other than knowing about that one because of the trailer. Uh, yeah, four threes, whatever. I do know her four does land as that, but I don't know what her. Uh... Hey, Anna players out there, I know the easy mode follow up is gonna be Blonde Bomb because that's obvious, right? What's her hard shit? Because she she gotta have a really hard pickup, right? Oh, oh, good man, Nelly boy. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's up close, though. Because, yeah. Oh, barely. I'm going to guess certain matchups. This is not going to be as consistent if you're not up close. Because it's like the tip of her foot that's hitting. Oh, but man, in this matchup, it's quite good. All right. As long as you're on axis. Yeah. As long as you're on axis. Yeah. Okay. So off axis up close though. Oh wow. Oh wow, I didn't even launch that. Oh. That's weird. Okay. So I guess I was getting to the side and it wasn't counter hit launching. Wait. Was that a glitch? You guys clearly saw I did counter hit standing four before a couple of times, and it didn't launch her. Uh, uh down forward, right? Is 
That's probably a better BNB by using this. Ah, down forward. It's like dragging off. Oh, back, back one. Down back, down back one, not back one. <sighs> I've not been playing Dragon Off, so this is weird to me now. Down back one. Okay, that doesn't work. What if I jab after that? Six. I got six more damage doing the the easiest bullshit ever. I got six more damage. What's up, Isaac Lock? That's not an easy juggle. <laughs> that is not an easy juggle. I'll try it though. Let's right, uh, back four. That forward three. Replace two with one. That forward three is the part that's dropping, though. Yeah, the forward three is the part that I'm not getting. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, I found out about forward three to Chaos Judgment going into down forward one. <laughs> what is this fucking music? Second two is weird, y'all. I think I got a better idea. this look like in juggles um okay. how about okay oh she recovers slow yeah, she recovers too slow all right deco thanks for the follow I'm gonna try this one time and see what the damage is. Oh, down forward. How'd I get one? I'm pressing uh, two too early. Also, looks like he's gonna whiff. Whiff. 
weird. Yeah. I don't know. This stuff is way too fucking hard. How much damage are you getting with that juggle? Because I got 56 before and it required zero fucking effort. I got zero effort just doing this bullshit. <laughs> zero effort and that was 56 damage. <laughs> See how easy that shit was? Anybody could do that shit. The only thing you need to know is delay. Alright, so five more damage. That is kind of worth it, I guess. Well, whatever. If you want to get fucking nerdy with Anna, you guys, you Anna players can go ahead and do that. So that's there. But man... That is not easy. Uh, Castro Pozzo. Thanks for the follow. Next we got... Oh, this theme song is fucking tight. Pop up the volume on this shit. Forward 2-3. 14 frame Punisher. We talked about this earlier. Uh, makes you spin. So that wall splats. Um, tracks to her right. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's a reliable tracker to her right side. The kick tracks. Okay, no, not that good. But the kick has a little bit of tracking if you go right. Like, if you sidestep right and try to swing, that kick will counter hit you. Excuse me. Kick still spins on counter hit. Alright, now. Negative seven and pushback, that means you can duck it, for sure. What? What? Oh, man, that is cheap. Really? It jails. Negative seven pushback and it jails? Usually when you see that kind of um, frame situation, off of a high, high natural combo string, and it's like safe, like negative seven, negative five, with a bunch of pushback on block, usually that means it doesn't jail. But here, this motherfucker right here, I mean, I suppose it's not that big a deal because like Eliza has that launcher that jails, but I don't think it's 14 frames. <laughs> this is a fucking great, not just a great block punisher. This is a great move into neutral. Really good moving to neutral. Really, really, really good moving to neutral. I mean, don't get hung up on her uh, lack of a 15 frame launcher because at the end of the day, like I said, you're not like blocking with this character. <laughs> you're blocking, but you're you're not like trying to get your big block punishes in. You're trying to be aggressive and force mix ups. This is not a block punish character. She was never. Repeat after me. She was never a block punish character. She was always a mix-up character. Always. At least as long as I've been playing Tekken, and I've been playing since 5.0. You could ask the Tag 1 people. Look, nobody else in the game has this outside of, like, a stance. Sure, she has to go into full crouch, but nobody else. The closest thing you have is Devil Jin, who needs a crouch dash. Right? And then it's like, oh, boo-hoo, she lost this bullshit, right? As a normal, like, launcher, right? Even though it's a wall bounce now. But, like, how many fucking launchers do you need, right? How many mid mix-up tools do you need? Hmm? Tell me. Because she has them. She got no problem doing mid mix-up tools, you know what I'm saying? She's got no problem doing mid mix-up tools. Whether it's while standing two, cross cancel, down forward two, cross uh, sidestep one plus two if you want a safe mid option for some reason. She has no problem mixing this up. No, no problem. Um, jail means you can't do anything. It's a, jail means there's a, it's a string where between the hits of the string, you cannot do anything but block. It's not just for high highs. If I do the first hit of this string and you block it and then I do the second hit and then you can press anything but you're forced to block it. It's like in Street Fighter, true block strings. That's what they call those. If I do a, a 
j uh, or like uh, jab chains or crouching B chains and KOF, you know, chains in general. You're stuck in a block stun for the whole string. That's what it means. People usually refer it to highs because it means you cannot duck the high. So this is one of them in jails. And if you happen to hit him out the air, it also course screws. Nice bonus. All right, servo knee to chaos judgment, poison sting spin kick. He just calls this, call this poison sting. That's a cool name for him. Uh, servo knee to chaos judgment. This is the shit we were doing during the juggle. So this knee is negative four on normal hit. It has uh, that follow, up, which used to be a bound move, but now it's this sideways knockdown move. When you see that, you know what it means. Test it near the wall. We'll get to that. First thing on the list, though, is the Chaos Judgment Transition. Negative 52 is not right, Tekken Bot. We're going to test how much that is right now. And I guess we're going to have to use the Logan, aren't we? That low is a normal hit juggle starter. Oops. Okay, not as good. 16. Um... So it lost to the 20 frame. So now we got to go to the faster moves. No, not that fast. So that's 15. Plus four. She's beating out my crouch stab. I'm sorry. I'm beating her out with crouch stab. And she's beating out my 12 frame low. So 11 frames would exchange with a 15 frame low. Meaning she is plus four. Does she have a down two? She does. So this should exchange, right? Yeah, see? 11 frames exchange. That's not great. So I would say this is mainly a juggle tool. I'm testing the frame data. I'm testing the frame data. I don't I'm not testing how to punish it like in that way. It's fine. Uh she's only plus four when she does this, so um Yeah, I wouldn't use this in the neutral. It's not quite as good as this, which is way more useful. Right, think about it for a second. We uh verify she's only negative three when she does this, right? So if you answer with anything, like, the best way to shut this down on, on block, not on hit. On hit, she's way more. We, we already verified. On block, though, she's only at negative three. That means if you answer with anything slower than uh, 13 frames, she could beat you out with this 2-1 uh, string, which probably sucks. I don't know. Uh, and then if you answer with anything that's faster than 13 frames, there's a high chance that it's going to be a high, which she'll go right under with uh, Crouch Dash. So... Basically, forward three is mainly, this transition, I would say, is mainly for juggles. I wouldn't use it otherwise. But, she has this, and this is like a 17 frame punish, which you'd be using down forward two anyway, so I wouldn't use it for that. This core screws, it used to bound, and now we see the sideways knockdown. So, every time you see that kind of knockdown, you need to test near the wall. You need to test near the wall. And yes, I know cross jack chaos judgment will it will automatically low crush. I said that already in the beginning. So I was up against the wall. Hmm. Up against the wall without any uh sidewall business. Wide opener. Mm. Oh, that sucks. Nope. What other pickups do we have? It's like it's mostly down four one for her for pickups, right? She doesn't have any other fancy pickups. Oof! Don't tech. Yikes! Well, down three whiffed. 
Unless I sidestep. Nope. Down three doesn't pick up. It maybe I did it instantly, but it whiffs, as you can see. Now, it might pick up at a different situation, which we'll get to. It seems like if they're on axis back to the wall, down 4-1 might be your most consistent best bet into something that hits low. Now, I already did the ass, and we switched sides because, you know, fucking Tekken. But it did combo as a low wall hit. Right? Hit him with the ass. You'll clip through him, but at the very least, it does land as a combo. 15 damage in the end. I don't know if she has another thing that she could follow up a down 4-1 with. Oh, there you go. Blonde Bomb. A little less damage, but only three, and you don't fucking switch sides like a moron. Of course, if you want probably the best Oki possible, it's going to be some dumb shit like this. Oops, not that. Right? It's going to be like that. Trust me. Oh, it's only one damage. That wasn't even a low wall hit. That's why. Yep. It's going to be some dumb shit like that. That's why you see shit like Kikoma earlier with Dragonov. He was ending... Like, I don't know why Tasty Steve was like, Why is he not doing the shoulder at the wall combo? Why is he not doing the fucking shoulder? Because he didn't want to throw away positioning. Dragonov, if you don't want to throw away positioning, you do, like, back two while standing four. Which does, like, way less damage, but you keep them, like, on access to the wall. That's why you do that kind of thing. Down four, one, sidestep three. Sure, I'll try it. Nope. <laughs> way too slow. Even if I, like, did as fast as possible. Oh. Yeah, nah, it's too slow. Stomp? What's your stomp? Hey, check that out. I don't know how our recovery is on that, but you got that. Down four, three, two. That's not going to pick up. Uh... The, uh, milk bread, I'm not talking about wall combos. Like, I'm not talking about straight up wall combos. I'm talking about this knockdown specifically right now. You see how it does the sideways knockdown? So, my recommendation is that so far, unless you can find something better that doesn't fuck up your positioning like uh, that does. See? This is Bakes Tekken 2 theme. It's really weird. Shake and bake. Now here, on the other hand, we get a full pickup. <laughs> so, wall to your right. All of a sudden, that move becomes way better, right? And so whatever. So treat it just like you treat this. And pick up into whatever juggle you're going to do. And then you're going to carry him to the other wall, and then you can do whatever the fuck you want. Feel free to experiment if you're a uh, Nana player. I'm not, so. She's got great fucking legs. Huh. Ah, delicious water. Wow, 53 viewers. Somebody must have retweeted my shit. Thanks for uh, tuning in. I hope you're all learning something along with me. All right, so let's look at four, three, two, tracking and on block and shit like that. So negative 11, min bin. Not a terrible risk considering she just... Mm. I was about to say she just forward quite a bit, but the range isn't that great. Ooh. And the second hit by itself doesn't have any properties, does it? Oh, lay oolong. Yeah, no, ooh, that look closer. Is it just me that look closer? No, it's just me. It's the same knockdown. All right, so no counter hit properties on the second hit there. Uh, yeah, not much as to say. Let's see the tracking. This looks like a linear move, but I'm guessing the second move might clip you. Yeah. So you have to like walk or double step. Oh wait! All right. Oh. Check this out. Startup is what, 22 frames? 17. Oh, interesting. Huh. We got negative 5 somewhere. 
Um, damn, I don't know how to get negative five. Well, whatever. It seems relatively reliable to her left side. I didn't expect that, to be honest with you. Because the classic uh, anti-Anna thing was sidestep right. So I'm kind of shocked that a pretty strong move is tracking to her left side. Sidestep to your right, which means her left side. Ah, imploding Star. That's a crazy name for a move. So this is just like a real nasty long-range whip punisher and a decent juggle filler. I've seen this used in juggles. How many active? Only one active frame? That looks like the kind of move that should have several active frames. That's kind of weird. 19 frame startup, but I'm gonna guess if you block it, if they block it shallow. Let's see. Maybe not. Maybe this move isn't that great in the neutral. Mm, nah. Yeah, nah. I'd say use this as a juggle filler mainly, or like a juggle ender or something. Too early, huh? Nope. Okay, juggle lender. That is. Hmm. Maybe post wall bounce into that shit. Uh, what is down four three one ob? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Uh, that's an ender. That's a juggle lender. Single hit, twenty eight damage. That's and really shitty on block. Probably super linear. Negative fourteen on block. Negative three seems to be a general good testing point for tracking in this game. But you also want to test it off of the jab. Yeah, but it's very linear. So that's like a juggle move only. I wouldn't use it in a neutral. All right, next. Uh, imploding star. Blonde bomb, the classic. She's not a blonde, but she's got the blonde bomb. Although her version looks really dumb. She's like crossing her hands and shit. While Nina sticks both her hands forward like she's stabbing you with both of them. She's like crossing her hands. Doesn't make much sense. But whatever. Uh, this has always been a great whiff punisher. And then sometimes it used to be like a decent combo ender. But Anna's version is kind of shitty. Nina's the one. That, Nina's version is the one that's always been a classic. Anna's version is kind of like whatever man like i have it just because like i'm making fun of nina but it's not quite as good <laughs> let's see if hers is as bad on block only 21 damage huh yeah negative 18 with pushback this is like the classic old school frames nina's version is like better in this game it's only like negative 14 and it's an armor move now yeah anna's version sucks Uh, oh, down 4-3, OB. Ah, I mean, it doesn't matter now, but thank you. What's OB? I don't know what OB is. Down 4-3. Oh, on block? Oh, you mean on block. i never seen anyone say OB for on block, to be honest with you. I don't know how much it is on block. Uh, I don't know if Tekken Bot is right. It's saying plus 2, and that doesn't sound right to me. But we'll get there when I look through the move list further. Let's see if the tracking is on Blom Bomb. I don't know if I would use Blom Bomb as a tracker, but we should check, right? Yeah, it's one of those. Yep. Basically, what's going on... Ooh. What's going on is you gotta walk it, not step it. Oof. It seems like you don't want to go right against Anna. <laughs> you want to go left. You don't want to go right. All right. And of course, the range is pretty good. Aphrodite Scorn. This is that ass. Basically, her shoulder, but slow. 14 frames. This is uh, sometimes it's a popular juggle lender. But it does have the negative frames of a shoulder, but it's slower than most shoulders, so it's not very good. Uh, 
Um, it's probably the best follow up off of that because nothing else seems to reach. Yeah. It's like the longest range, like 14 frame Punisher. Like this shows it right here clearly, right? It might just be the hitbox of, her, of the way her ass sticks out. I don't know. But as you can see right there, out of all her 14 frame Punishers, it's the only one that reaches in that situation. So. 25 damage, not great. I know, Milo. I'm talking about the wait. Why are you bringing up 443 again? Are you talking about off of the this? The only reason I was showing that was to show you the range difference. It's a clear example of it having more range than the other two. Unblockable. Oh, the fucking <laughs> X marks the spot. Oh yeah, that's plus 19. Yeah, yeah. You could you could get like a full launch off of this, right? Not very easy. Yeah, that's not easy. But you could get a full launch off of that. But it, what I'm talking about is, you see how this is whiffing? You know, the other 14 frames are all whiffing. This is clear evidence that that's her longest range 14 frame punisher. That's what I'm talking about. Um, let's test the tracking. No tracking on that. Area. Oh, it's pretty wide, so it's one of those where um, if you walk it, it's gonna get around. See, you'll get around to the rear. Hmm. Yeah, you want to go left to get Santa. You want to go left. Oh, wow, that actually hit her. <laughs> That's the clear common denominator here so far. All right, now we go to the Down Forward 1 series. All right, just like Nina, she goes into her jab stuff, but Anna's is slightly different. See? So, this is a fucking classic right here. That still does the backflip kick. So that kick, you could hold back to cancel it. Down forward, one, two, three, back. And you won't do the kick, you'll land into Chaos Judgment. Now, I don't think this is like a frame advantage style setup. This is, uh, you use the kick to set it up so they don't press. And then the hesitation allows you to mix up Chaos Judgment. It is only negative 12 on block. And uh, no sidestepping this, so that's good. You can delay the third hit, which helps further with the fake hesitation. You know the the fake frame advantage, the fake hesitation, the fake frame advantage because of the hesitation. That's what I meant to say. But um, keep in mind that I don't think this is a uh, plus situation if you cancel it. See? Yeah. The <laughs> okay. So no. Oh no! Did I crush? Yeah. No. You need about six frames of hesitation to frame trap people with a uh, <laughs> standing two. 10 frame. Or, sorry, uh, Chaos Judgment 2. Cat 2. Mm. This might be useful in, like, a wall carry situation. Like, if you screw somebody and they're near the wall, but they're kind of too close for you to do any sort of, like, really high damage wall carry, you could just run up and do a down forward 1 2 and go into this. And, uh, that might give her some good wall combo stuff. I don't know. <laughs> or. You could end the wall combo with this. Right? And go into this and mix them up when they tech. 
It's not amazing, but you know, you got that. And then she has this, which I think is counter hit. No, it's not. Okay. Second encounter hit, she gets it. Alright, well, she's always had this shit, so. Um, safe on block, duckable, I'm sure. Right. Can't delay the second hit. Yeah, so her down forward one stuff is very different from Nina's. Nina kind of goes into her usual jab stuff off of her down forward one. Anna just has these options. Not much. But down forward by itself is still your typical uh, negative one on block, 13 frame poke. You could always do this just like you can with any other character that's rocking a down forward one. Right? And her standing four, her magic four is 11 frames. So keep that in mind too. Twenty-three damage. Yeah, not bad. Down forward one two for her is negative three. I think Nina's is negative one. I think so. Nina's is a little bit better. Uh, can you delay the last hit of the? You can also delay the last hit of the high. So that's cool. All right. Uh, take it easy, Cross. Takes again, man. Get some sleep. Next on the list, we have 16 frame launcher. Down forward two. Negative 12 on block. That got nerfed, didn't it? That used to be negative 11, but look at the pushback. Range is okay-ish. Not amazing. It's pretty good, actually. And uh, I have a feeling if you get this block shallow, certain characters might start to whiff. Maybe not. M maybe not. But, uh, yeah. Negative 12. It does launch Croucher. So, think about this uh, like uh, a one-frame slow version of Dragon Dragonos down forward 2. Oh, sorry. See, it launches Crouchers. So, it's not one of those. But, it is unsafe. Let's see the tracking on this. Dragon off tracks in this game for some reason. I don't know about hers, though. Once again, sidestep left. Sidestep left against Anna. To your left. All right, down forward 3-1. Here we go. We talked about this earlier. Oh, no, we didn't talk about this earlier. Um, we talked about three, down forward 3-2 a little bit earlier. Uh, down forward 3-1, I think that's like a, her version of a Nina string that you could sidestep cancel, right? Yep. Uh, and you don't have to tap it. You could just hold up or down after you press the 1. This is down for a 3 1, and you could side step cancel, side wall cancel, even. And you could delay it a little bit. You know? And Anna, in particular, has some nasty side step tools. Let me give you an example if you want to gimmick somebody out. I shot doing it. I'm just shocked that she's not crushing it. Oh, I'm doing it slow, that's why. Oh my god, the timing on this is awkward. So I don't think this is gonna crush, but... Oh, there it goes. Yeah, there it goes, that's what I was looking for. Maybe it was just the direction, or I was just too slow. So we already know that that's Anna's strong side, though, so don't, don't go in that direction. But if you go to a character's weak side with this, remember, you can go either either direction. 
You go towards the character's weak side off of this transition. Start fucking with them with the sidestep shit. And then you can do a delayed down forward 3-1 to fuck with them further. Which goes into 1-2. Uh, Natural combo, basically jabs. Down forward 3-1 by itself is a counter hit string. That's sidestep 2. This is a classic and a low, sidestep 2. Uh, I don't know if it was plus on hit before. It's only 0 on hit now. And, but what I do know, though, is uh, before, it was a counter-hit juggle starter. So she, they took that shit away. <laughs> so that low is actually nowhere near as good as it used to be. This low used to be way more threatening. We'll get to her sidestep moves later. But I was just giving you an example of a gimmicky way to go into the low. And the general idea of the low is you're zero. So while standing forward, it's uh, not, not a true frame trap, but it'll stop them from mashing a lot of things. And then you can try to, like, sneak in a full crouch mix-up. Like, treat it like a dragon off down two before the nerf. Because it does force crouch. No, it doesn't force crouch. Treat it like a dragon off down two. Minus the force crouch aspect before the nerf. <laughs> um, Alright, so this goes into Chaos Judgment also if you hold back. Which is cool. Once again, you need the hesitation here because you're, you're not a plus. You're not a plus. So you're relying on a hesitation. It's a good thing you can heavily delay that high because that's what makes all this shit work for her so it's risky and the reward honestly isn't that great but by the way as shitty as this low is at 12 damage zero on a hit she has a safe on block sidestep mid launcher right one plus two yeah safe on block negative four she could keep moving <laughs> fucking anna all right um so keep that in mind. Anytime you see these sidestep cancels for Anna, it means something different than it does for Nina. Nina has like the sidestep, what, one or two cancel, whatever, that gets her plus 10. Anna's like sidestep, I'm going to mix you up right now. Guess mid versus low, basically. That's what Anna has. <sighs> okay, so just uh, let's test the tracking on down forward three. Just remember, like I said, chaos as a transition, you're using the hesitation you caused because of the delay. So you got you gotta earn that shit and just accept that mashers is just not gonna work versus them. <laughs> All right, if, if, you, if you finally get to master, ignore this. That doesn't mean this sucks. That means you save this for when you're fighting somebody with some more patience, who you'll have more chances to uh, uh, work in, set up your mix-ups on. You know what I'm saying? If you're fighting somebody that's just constantly pressing buttons, then set this aside, let it go. It's okay. You don't have to force the same mix-ups on every opponent. That's like one of the biggest mistakes a lot of newer and a lot of lower level Tekken players make. They try to force the exact same mix-ups no matter who they're fighting or what their character is, you know? The one mix-up you can run on everybody, of course, is like full crouch. <laughs> that 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 one you can. But like stuff that causes hesitation, those mix-ups don't work the same way on everybody else. They don't. Uh, side seven plus two combos are all probably going to be really low damage because you see the damage here. Look what's happening on the scaling. You automatically get 14 damage off of the 70% scaling. So the next hit you're going to do is 50 damage. They did that on purpose because it's safe on block launcher. So your juggle damage is going to be low. And it's a, it's a fast safe on block launcher. 19 frames off of a side step is pretty damn fast, all things considered. Yeah. So it's going to be like, I'm sure you could get some good damage off of it. My guess is at best, she'll be in the 60, like lower 60s or 60 on the dot. That's my guess. Just a hunch based on how, I see, how I've seen this game's balance, you know, the general balance be. All right. Let's test the tracking on down forward three. Uh, negative three. Oh, no, that's going to come up by accident. Okay, this one's very linear. Good. How's the startup on it? 14 frames. Okay, 14 frames. Oh, that reaches. Huh. Okay, what do you know? I mean, that's not worth doing, but it reaches. I suppose it's worth doing if you want to crouch dash out of that. Wait, she can't crouch dash cancel to a crouch?
No, she can't. She's forced to do a full cross dash. That's weird. Well, whatever. Um. So we know down forward three is linear. We uh, saw down forward three one two before. That's all gonna be counter hit fourteen frame, right? No. Wait, what? The, was I slow? Oh, that's not even a counter hit string. Ooh. Yikes. Okay, so. Oh, plus nine. That's good. Negative two. That's good. So, I mean, you're not going to get crazy damage, but you're going to get... If you get the hesitations, you might as well commit to both jabs. You're not... You might as well commit to both jabs. Because you only had negative two, and you push them back. So you can move around. You know what I'm saying? And then if you connect, you're at plus nine. That's really good. Not only are you at plus... Okay, he does push out a little bit. But you're at plus nine, so... Like, what kind of shit can you do at plus nine? Let me show you guys. Let's see. So I step left. Okay, so the spacing allows her to still sidestep that, but let's set, let's check some other moves. Nope, can't step that anymore. Let's try, uh, so 14 frame moves. Wow, that's a great follow-up. It jails and it's safe on block, remember? All of a sudden, she can't sidestep into the weak side. So, high, we had a high is a great follow-up. Oh, wine opener. We got a good low. But the more important thing to test the low versus is uh, backdash. Ha ha! That's important. Check it out. You can force a 50 50. Let's find the best mid for every situation, too. Uh, the ass is no good. Well, the down forward three, you could do this. That's not bad. That's high, though. What's another good mid? Aha! That is a good choice. Yep. Um, you got a homing mid that they could jab through. Ha ha! Frame trap! Frame trap and, uh, too much frame matches to step. That's nice. All right, and backdash, they still have to block it. They can't make, what I'm looking for is if the backdash makes it whiff. Yes, they can block during backdash, that's fine. But it's a, it's a negative 11 risk to take for like pretty good reward. Because if I'm not mistaken, mid stage, you still get a guaranteed follow up off of that, don't you? Right? <laughs> So that's not a terrible risk to take. You know, and then if you want a safe option on block, you could just commit to the down forward 3-4 for a knockback that they could duck. But too bad she has no mid option off of this. Oh, wow, we didn't even talk about that. Wow, that hasn't come up yet, has it? Oh, it's gonna come up soon. Okay. So yeah, down forward three is already really good. It's already really good to like mix people up, not with like raw frame advantage for the most part, but like hesitation. And then, you know, you can get your frame advantage if you guess right af after the hesitation. Or the thing that causes hesitation gives you a lot of frame advantage. That's what I meant to say. Uh, down forward three, one, four, two. Oh, she has a full fucking string out of this. Doesn't she have a built-in mix-up somewhere in here? Ooh, 
even more damage if you do the hesitation, but negative three on hit. Negative three on block also, that's weird. It jails, so that's cool. And it's negative three on hit or on block, so you could still, like, it's fine if it gets guarded. And she still has a fourth hit. Fifth hit. Ah, this is the one that has the mix up. With a knockback in the end. This is like some 10 hit combo shit, right? But it's all highs, that's what I don't like. And eventually you're gonna be able to duck this shit. The important thing about this string is when you end it at the four, she's only negative three on block and on hit, but it pushes back. That's the important thing. And it does good damage. So you don't get the mix-ups that you do off of the one, two, but you get 30 damage. And it jails. So that's the important thing I'm noticing here. And that's what makes the rest of this work. That gels too. This three screens filler. I don't think it does. Remember, we're starting from down forward three. We're starting from down forward three, right? So we established that down forward three one is the thing that you could delay to cause hesitations to sets up the cancels. Right? Sidestep. Chaos judgment. Right? Then we establish that down four three one four is negative three on block and on hit, so you can move around after it's blocked. Perfectly fine. The moment you get them to get cute and swing at you, this is where I have to start recording it against myself. Thanks for the follow, Stormer. Uh, what was it? I keep forgetting these inputs. This fucking ten hit combo shit here. So, at the negative three part, after that first kick, what happens if I swing? If I swing, I get counter hit and knocked down for 34 damage. If I block it, it's still, uh, she's at zero. But this portion doesn't jail. So that's why there's a blonde bomb attachment for you ducking. Now that's the part that sucks. Like, this last part is the part that's kind of whatever. But there's layers going on here to this mix-up. You get what I'm saying? How appropriate that this song is playing right now. She's zero. She's zero on block in the end. And then blonde bomb ender is uh, negative eighteen, just like, just like it is regularly. So that's the part that the wrist sucks. But before that, the first uh, three hits, that's where the good shit is, in my opinion. I did something different there by accident, I think. Yeah.
Yep, the blonde bomb is also a natural combo. And not to mention, it's not easy to punish. At least not with Anna, obviously. Some characters will not be able to launch that. Oh shit, Bloodhog, good looking out. Three active frames, plus one. Oh, okay, cool. I missed that. So that has three active frames in here. So yeah, like, you know, this isn't like amazing. It's pretty gimmicky to a certain extent, but I, I believe in the like, you know, the first, uh, the beginning of this string, the first three hits, no matter which way you go, there's uses for all of them. <sighs> we know the dot four three itself is very linear though. And then dot four three two. This is a uh, popular jungle filler. So that's natural combo plus three. Mid high, negative. Oh, sorry, plus two on block. That's pretty fucking cheap. Doesn't jail. That's why it's plus. Doesn't jail. So you know what? That might make the crouch dash mix up out of this on block fucked up, wouldn't it? Let's see. It's gonna go under jab, right? Oop. Oh, no, it's not. I gotta delay it to go under jab. Oh, maybe not. I think uh, Tekken Bot is wrong about this one. I think Tekken Bot is wrong about this one. I don't know. Yeah, Tekken Bot does not know what this is on block. Because it ain't plus two. Oh my god, the delay. Oh, the best Tekken song ever. Right here. Negative one. Negative one on block. <laughs> yeah, wide opener is negative 17. They retained that nerf from Tag 2. I know that. So, um, negative one on block. And I just realized that this is basically... This dot four three one. This is like Nina's, where in that uh, dot four three two. Sorry, it's like Nina's, where the dot four three is essentially filling the role of the jab, and you go into the same strings. So, see. Oh, familiar. You know. Um. You know? Wait, there it is. Uh, 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 versus, uh, 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 uh. So it's the same thing going on. Same thing. So you could delay the two, though. In this instance, unlike with one, two, you can't delay one, two. Right? So there's no way for you to be like one jab and then delay and then make the two counter hit to make that combo. But in this case, you could delay that to make that counter hit combo. For 36 damage, knockback. So yeah, this is Yoshi Mitsu's Tekken 2 song. It's one of my, it's probably my favorite overall Tekken song. Uh. So yeah, that was probably always like that, but you know. So now let's look at how this is on hit. Let's look at these cross dash moves. Um, 16, 18. 18 with a high crush. 16 with uh, what looks like a high crush. 16. It's a lot of 16. Let's go with 16.
I don't think that's zero. I might be slow on this. Well, there is a bit of a hesitation because of the animation, so it's not going to be perfect. Yeah. I'm trying to do it as fast as possible. Negative, uh, that was 13 frames we exchanged with. And that's a 13 frame elbow. So negative three is what I got there. So this is mainly like a juggle filler, I think. Can you dot four three delay two delay one? Uh, good question. Yes, you can, which means you can do this. And still get that to be a counter hit launcher. That's plus seven on block. And it seems like a really cool character. Uh, I can't see your name because it's all black. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm using a dark background. Uh, oh, the Zaman. Zaman. Yep, I think she's uh, interesting to play. I've never been an Anna fan. I strongly dislike her personally from past games. Jubilar, thanks for the following. But uh, I think playing her is fun. I could see the appeal of playing her. She has very uh, a very obnoxious moveset. Uh, nothing here is, is super cheap yet, though. Like, the cheapest thing here so far is this. <laughs> Plus seven. That's the cheapest thing. And there's some gimmicky shit, but we just went through a lot of stuff where I'm talking about hesitation. And we know hesitation doesn't work against mashing. Right? So, keep that in mind. There are certain players you're going to want to use that against, and there are other players you're never going to want to use that against. You're going to want to... You're going to... Those players that mash every time... Maybe put a little bit of delay on it, but not too much. But every time, come into the button. Because it's only negative three, negative two. You know? Negative three, whatever. They're not going to fucking duck their mashing. You know? <laughs> Alright, so we went over this already. Roundhouse, yes. We talked about that already. So, just like you delay... If you get a counter hit on that second hit, it's going to combo. And if they block it, negative six for pushback. Creeping snake to left kick. Same shit as before, guys. Oh, wait, this is a little weird. I do know that some of these down forward three pickups have been used as, as like wall carries in past games, like easy wall carries. I can't speak for how they are in this game as wall carries because damage wise, it's kind of like the, the, the enders of these strings, specifically the kick does do a nice chunk of damage. See, 22 damage, so I can see why they're popular wall carry moves. Especially if you don't want to like do the high execution stuff. You know, just pick up with like a fucking... You know? That's a lot of wall carry on that string. See? Just like the... Just like the jab. By the way, I forgot to say, she could sidestep cancel out of this. Down forward 3-1, uh, 3-2. Uh, I forgot to say that. Which means, once again, you can mix up your sidestep stuff. Uh, you're going to want to ideally go to the character's weak side. For Anna, your left. If you're fighting against Anna, go to your left. <laughs> Anna's weak side is her right. Your left. Safe mid launcher. Alright, now here we have the Nina stuff. Down forward 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Very delayable kick string. This is second one and two, yes. It's alright. Uh, I thought I would like Anna, but I don't like your balls to the wall play style. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's what Anna is. Nina's the one that's like more reserved of the two. Anna's the one where you gotta be a lot more aggressive. They're both aggressive characters, more aggressive than average. But out of the two, Anna, I think you have to be... You have to force your offense more with Anna than Nina does, I think. I think. I don't know. Who am I? Right? <laughs> so, first two hits natural. First three hits natural. And then... We have that kick in the end. So, the idea is... You counter hit. Right? Right? On the third kick. 
have to record this on myself. Which is what the delay is about. So if you counter hit on the third kick, it's gonna combo. See? For uh, 29 damage plus knockback, that's a Nina classic. And then on block, it's negative six of pushback. But of course, it could be ducked. Surprise, surprise. You could get 73 for down forward too. I've heard. I don't know how, but I've heard. Um, oh, it's the one. And then there's a one, which is the uh, Chaos Judgment one. Yes, just like Chaos Judgment one, you get the uh, that ass. That's a link. Forward plus two plus three. Uh, we already know. Look, look at all this down forward three. This is like Nina, man. It's like 20 moves on her move list that start with down forward three. <laughs> the thing is, we were able to shortcut it because I already explained these moves, these strings. Up in the jab strings. This is the thing about these characters. They seem like, for Nina and Anna, they seem like they have these absurd move lists. And they have, like, really long move lists, but it's a lot of repeats. A lot of these jab strings, they go into, for, uh, for Nina from the down forward one, not so much for Anna. But for the down forward three especially, it's all the same shit. But yeah, she has the Chaos Judgment one attached to this, which is nice. I think near the wall, you'll be able to wall splat with this. I don't think you'll get that mid-stage. Never mind that. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, on the back or side, it gives free lunch. <laughs> free lunch. <laughs> All right, let's test. Uh, down forward two, right? I mean, it's only one frame off. That angle. Oh boy, that's a unique animation. Forward, forward, three. That looks like it would catch because she got pushed very far away. Didn't we hear this already? I mean, I don't mind, but... Whatever. Paul's team. This team is fire, man. I like this team. All right, that looked a little slow, but we'll try it anyway. Mm. You could probably duck a bit uh, early. No, you can't. It's like Brian. Yikes. Eee, that's a lot, man. That's a lot. About four, three, one, two, four, something like that. I mean, this probably is an easier launch from behind. But that's like, it keeps them standing so the scaling doesn't apply. So it does a lot. They could duck that. Wow, that hurts. So that's a nasty shit to use from behind. Uh, what was it? 14 frames, right? Mm. Is there anybody that's 14 from behind you? Nah, I don't think that's ever going to be a block punish. Flash kicks. Alright, we talked about the kick earlier. Uh, Mid-head ringer. 14 frame, block punish that knocks back. 
33 damage. We already got two better 14 frame ones, but this one starts mid, so that's important to remember. Sometimes a character will recover ducking, so you need a mid instead. Down four, three, four for 14 frames. Um, wide opener. All right. This is her key low poke. Second bot apparently lies about this. They nerfed this in tag two. I talked about it already. They made this negative 17 on block. Oh, no. Tekken bot isn't lying. Negative 17. So, very risky low, low poke. But, you know. Decent damage. Plus 5 on hit. Forces crouch. Knocks, in a character, knocks a character off axis for some reason. And then on counter hit. You get that sort of knockdown. Which almost makes him believe that if you were fighting, let's say, a big character like Kuma... See that? If you were fighting a bigger character, hmm, I wonder. I wonder. Not only that, we should test it off Axis. Welcome to the King of Nobody likes Kuma anyway, right? I know sidestep three is the normal ender or sidestep stomp. I know those are the normal enders. Everybody hates this poke. It's classic. It's 16 frames, so the idea is, yeah, it sucks on block. Don't get it blocked. Yeah, nah. They're not gonna give that to her. <laughs> Ooh. There you go. 32 damage. That probably breaks the floor. 34 damage, that's better damage. That probably breaks the floor too, doesn't it? I was hoping for a little more. I was hoping for 40 damage, but you can't have it all with a 16 frame low poke, can you? <laughs> oh, really? Hmm. Wow, not on Anna, huh? There it goes. That was actually more uh, harder to do than it needed to be. Man, you can't do anything interesting with this. Got your side step three and that's it. <laughs> that is it. Oh, I meant to select stay select. Oh. Well. I'm starting to lose steam. It's a good thing I got me one of these. I got my E tank from Mega Man over here. That's Ganryu's team right there I just played. That's a pretty good theme. I like it. Bring Ganryu back. I wouldn't mind. He's a unique character compared to the this cast, you know? Bring Marta, Ganryu, and Armor King back. That's not happening. <laughs> I think Ganryu... I think Julia's a sore thing. And, um... I think Ganryu has a pretty decent chance. I really want Marta. 
And if I can't have Marduk, I'll gr begrudgingly accept Armor King. But I want to see one of those two. Otherwise, I'm going to be pissed off because I'm not interested in actually playing any of these fucking characters in this season pass. <sighs> Alright, now that I got that poison in my system. Uh, up four, three plus four. Oh, shit. Yeah, I should have tested that. That is a floor break. No, we got to go back, don't we? No love for my boys Roger, Alex, no. Sorry, Straw Hat. <laughs> no love at all. Aha! Good looking out, amigo. Or amiga. Ayoku. Ayoku. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Good looking out, though. Uh, for those of you that don't know what the deal is with Roger, number one, he's a bitch. Number two... He's a bitch. Number three, for some reason, they had gi uh, giant swing. And it breaks the rules just like kings. Uh, number four, they have lows that are tail swipes, so you cannot low parry them. And they start juggles. Uh, they have two tail swipes. A low poke, where they stick their ass out and it has a lot of range. And an actual short range tail swipe. Uh, and they have like kings, some of kings really good uh, jab strings. They have that really good mid punch that is like counter hit. They basically gave that to Claudio, but it's down forward too. I don't think, it, you know, no way in hell they're coming back. Nobody liked those fucking. It's like a handful of people that play those guys. Like Naklam, and where is he these days? Nobody knows where that guy is. I just remember Aris blowing him the fuck up on stream. <laughs> that was the early days of Aris streams, the early days of ATP Live. Once again. Side step left against Anna. Once again. This is kind of crazy because I'm not finding any really particularly like standout strong move that's tracking to Anna's right side. That's kind of crazy. I mean, Roger had a lot of good moves. He had capital punishment also. He had like some of King's best moves. And then, you know, fucking tail swipes and shit like tail sweeps. Are you fucking kidding me? Character was dumb as hell. Uh, yeah, so Wine Opener. Wine Opener's range also is, uh, it's pretty good. It's deceptively good. It's, uh, okay. It's pretty good. What does this look like on block? Okay, not much pushback on this. But if you get to the block just to tip, certain characters will have trouble punishing this. For example, Kazumi punishes at 17 or 18. Uh, I think Kazumi needs 18 to punish while standing. She has a hop kick, but it's not going to reach from here. So, if you find against Kazumi, consider spacing this out back here. At best, she'll hit you with a while standing three, which ain't shit. It's a knockback, but it ain't much else. Pull side. Alright, that's wide opener. So yeah, once again, recap, wine opener, knock down, your best damage is sidestep three instantly after after you confirm it. If you have trouble doing that, you could feel free to go for the stomp instead, which is going to net you 30. Oh, no, no, never mind now. You have to dash for that. Do sidestep three. <laughs> do sidestep three. If you have trouble going for that, then always do up forward three plus four, which is a little less damage. But if you're on the floor break stage, up forward three plus four will floor break. Figure out your floor break juggle off of that. And then on hit, plus five, force crouch. Um, we found some uh, counter hit tools before, right? What about her mids? Uh, what are her mid counter hit tools? Well, I'll tell you one thing. If you go for it again and they match while standing four, for example, you're going to exchange. And I'm curious at what that looks like. What does that look like if we exchange? Oh, no knockdown? Angle. The angle's fucked up. That's probably not a pickup there. You're too far away. You're too far apart. Oh. <sighs>
What's up, Rose? It's negative 17, negative 17, negative 17. That was attack two nerf. Line opener. Yep, he had tombstone also. You're right about that. Guard breaker. All right, we talked a little bit about this move earlier. This is an 11 frame mid? Yeah, look at that. How rare is this to see? It's 11 frame mid that's plus on block. And on counter hit, she gets free shit. Including her uh, super. This has always been a cheap move. I think it used to be even cheaper. I think in tag one, this move was a fucking absurd. I think. I remember. In one of the older tech games, this move was fucked up. Very unique, isn't it? An 11 frame mid. That, like, you don't have to be super close to hit. Now, on regular hit, it's only plus five. So, it ain't doing shit. But on counter hit, we got the ass. That ass. Not only that, you may have heard. Oh, that's not it. It's kind of funny because that has shitty range, I think. But it looks like when you do it after that, it teleports her forward. Either way it goes, that links. Uh, near the wall, you could probably get some pretty good stuff, too. As a matter of fact, that might be where this is at its most scariest. First, let's test the track, you know, before we switch stages. My nose, ah! Oh, off of a jab, it's not bad. If we do it off of a jab, which is basically a frame trap. Okay. So, what happens if you exchange? Oh, it crushes? It crushes? Oh, you kid! Oh my god! I'm oh my god! Are you kidding me? Why does that crush? You know what? I'm starting to think this isn't really eleven frames. <laughs> I'm starting to think Tekken Bot lied to me here. Something's telling me that Tekken Bot lied to me here. Alright, uh, 12. So 13 wins. 14. Alright, so 15. Fuck, what's 15? Hmm. Alright. So 15 frames. 15 frames. Voodoo. Form. Better than King's Push? Hell no. King's Push is way better. It's still good, though. King's Push, um, I don't think it's plus on block, but it creates space. A lot of space. Uh, Marduk had uh, a version of that push that was like pretty cheap before. Uh, mainly in DR. But they buffed it and nerfed it at the same time in Tekken 6 and on. Uh, but King's Push is like really cheap. This is more closer to King's Pectorials, except King's Pectorials are uh, an attack move on hit. This is zero damage on hit. You don't get forward four. Who said that? Voodoo, you don't get forward four. Thanks, Delios. It's plus... Alright, Tekken Mom might be lying to me again. Hold on. Ah, oh, Tekken bot. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. All right. You know what? I thought this was plus 15. I thought this was plus 15. The one that you want to get good at is uh, forward, forward, three. That's what you want to get good at. Because it's a launcher. For some reason, I was mistaking the frame data for this. That's what I was thinking. Plus 15. Alright. So yeah, this move is uh, still super cheap. 15 frame mid. That uh, ducks jabs at the very start, at least. And it's plus one on block. 
so. It's a lot like Mardux now that I think about it, except the launcher is way harder. The launcher, you have to like mash forward forward after doing it and verify the counter hit while you're mashing forward forward. That's my recommendation. Like you have to like be ready to mash forward forward the instant you see counter. And of course you can practice that by setting counter hits a random. But man, that's not going to be easy to do. See, I just did a back accident. I already fucked up. That's another thing. If you do it too fast, it whiffs. Uh, near the wall, your conversions are way easier. So yeah, I'm at battle now. <sighs> okay, this is one of those weird ass like cross jab follow ups that need a counter hit. Uh, Nina has this one too. They tend to always be either negative or zero on hit. A lot of characters, a couple of characters have these. And they're always unsafe on block, so hers is negative 11. At least it's a true mid on the second hit. Uh, no counter hit properties on the second hit in case you're wondering. Icicle. Down two. Oh, her old bound move. Wow, it does a classic spike. It doesn't do the new spike. So that might be useful for Oki. I don't know. Oops. Uh, plus five. Hmm. So that's going to floor break right there on counter hit. There doesn't seem to be any pickup. Nope. So that's the tracking on this. I don't I don't know what, you know, this is one of those weird certain bound moves when you see them in this game, it just feels like it feels like they they just feel obsolete. Like what's the purpose other than the floor break? You know, it's really weird. And then you'd think they would change them up a lot more. Is Anna hard to learn? I don't think she is. Uh, you just got to remember that um, this down forward three, treat it like standing one, except you could delay the uh, follow-up jab. So th this is just like this. Slower, though, because it's 14 frame mid. But uh, the only difference is you could delay the two, which is important. But, you know, you could do one, two, delay one. Uh, uh, delay one, you know? Um, and then you already have a strong gimmick with, uh, that being plus seven. So, as far as keeping it simple with Anna, she has his standard down forward one poke. Negative one on block. 13 frame startup. You have her go-to low poke. Wine opener, which is very risky, so you gotta be careful with it. Um, which has counter hit properties. We talked about this just earlier, right? Uh, I haven't even gotten to her actual mix-up tools yet, like uh, this, or rather, that, that, <laughs> not that. Oh, sorry, I said four more. Wow, that's way more. That's way more damage. I said four more damage on Twitter. I got that wrong. It's a lot more than four more damage. Whoopsies. All right, um, six more damage. You know. Oh yeah, so let's test the tracking on down two. This move is stupid. This is an obsolete fucking move. Does it even do good damage? 17 damage. Eh. It does a classic spike though, so it might have some uh, cool shit going on. Down 3-2. We talked about this earlier. This is a 16 frame counter hit low mid launcher. 
That's negative 13 on block. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, there are times where you'll uh, sidestep. And you won't be ready to block it. Right? Because the, the low hits you while you're sidestepping and you're not holding back. It happens all the fucking time. Just treat this as a homing low. You're not going to get around it. Doesn't matter who you are. You're not going to get around that fucking low. It's the same thing with Nina. And the low itself ain't shit, really. It's just like, what, negative three? Yeah, negative three with pushback. I mean, I suppose that's all right, but whatever. 16 frame low. And you know what's going on with both her and Nina and Anna? They get, they both have the generic down three. That's the generic down three, basically. It's negative 17 on block and negative three on hit. Uh, and down four. They both have the generic ones when you press them. That's the 12 frame low. But then they gave them both follow-ups. Down 4-1, down 3-2, down 3-4. Uh, so I think they're the only characters in the game that have strings off of the generic lows. Whoops. We talked about this earlier. Bitch slap combo. The weird thing... Oops. How do I get out of that? For some weird reason, you have to sidestep this version differently than the other version, but whatever. Down three, four, one. Whoops. See, this one, you have to sidestep your, to your left, apparently. And why do you want to do that? Well, because it's plus two on block. Forces crouch. It's also a counter hit launcher, the last hit. Yada, 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 right? Oh. Ooh. Actual tech and send the music. This is like catch it on a mic. It sounds awful. So, yeah. Um, we already know down three tracks. Don't got to check that out. Here it is, down four one. So, the generic down four. Uh, unlike Nina, who could cancel this, it's a, oh no, she could cancel it to size up just like Nina, actually. So down 4-1, uh, counter hit string, 12 frame low, that high crushes. I think down 4 sent a high crush, like, really fast, too. Right? So, just like the, just like, uh, with, uh, the other stuff, the hesitation you cause, you could totally... Uh, use the cancel to do sidestep mix-ups, right? But for Anna, if you hold back, you cancel out of the one and you go into chaos judgment. Once again, the hesitation is what allows you to force the mix-up. Not the frames. She is at plus six if that jab lands. She's at plus six. Remember, she got a magic four. It's 11 frames. Let's test the tracking on her uh, down to down four. Yep, yeah, uh, most of uh, these generic down fours tend to track really well in both directions, just because they're so damn fast that you have to put yourself at a pretty heavy negatives before. And even then, I, th I think they just track really well. But they're so damn fast that you just need a little bit of frame advantages to, like, remove sidestep as an option. It's crazy. It's 12 frames, man. Bloody scissors! Once upon a time, this had tracking, so you could use it as a tech trap. Not anymore, though. Not anymore. <laughs> If this were Tekken 6, I think, or DR, she would have, like, followed her as she tech and fucking owned her up. I think it starts juggles, right? Nope. Uh, down back 1-4. Ah, yes, this string, which has a low mix-up out of it.
Did they take away the low? They took away the low. It got removed. <laughs> oh, wow. And that doesn't launch anymore. Oh, this got nerfed. <laughs> but it has another purpose now. That's a counter hit launcher now, but whatever. That doesn't matter. So, down back one by itself is 16 frames. Looks like it crushes jabs. Nope. Alright, that's fine. Uh, natural combo. Not hit confirmable. Nope, not hit confirmable, but delayable for that counter hit. The second hit is negative 15, which is why it sucks, right? Like, fuck that. It sucks. They removed it. It used to have a built-in low mid mix-up. And that was the mid, and that mid would launch on normal hit, if I recall right. Now, um, the purpose of this is a juggle lender. Reason being, uh, how do we do this? Right? I'm just going to bound her or whatever, right? Course screw, right? So, what's going on here? You do the down back one, it does the classic spike. When you see the classic spike, there's a window where you could get a guaranteed hit. And usually, most characters are unable to do it because they recover too slow. The best example I give you that's already been in the game is Gigas. His down forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 ender. The last hit, uh, the first two hits spike on the floor just like that. And then the last hit rescales because of that. So, basically, what's going on is if you delay this second kick... It's always going to do 13 damage at the end of the juggle, no matter how many hits you did before, right? Now, this might take me a few tries, but here's my example. That's a 73 damage juggle off of down forward two. 73 damage! <laughs> Off of uh, what is essentially her fastest launcher from standing. Sorry if that was loud. <laughs> 73 damage. Now, I'm pretty sure Floor Break would ruin that juggle. Because this, I'm guessing that the down back one breaks the floor. Not sure. Yes, it launches Crouch because it is like Dragon Offs, except one frame slower. It's, it's 16 frames, negative 12 on block, so it launches Crouches. That's not to say that all negative on block, down forward twos, launch crouches, because Leo's doesn't. That's just a balance consideration they made for that character. But um, Anna's has okayish range, and it tracks to her left side, like, apparently, like, everything does. Uh, but, yeah. So, I mean, that's just, like, the nerdy combo that I did there, though, which is not the easiest shit to do, I guess. But, uh, if you find ways to, like, do a lot of hits before your uh, uh, core screw... And then end it with dash into down back one. That's probably going to be your best struggle lenders as far as uh, non-wall carry goes. That does still float though, so it could wall carry. I don't know. But that is the way to use this move. But let's test the tracking anyway. I will not use this move in the neutral to be honest with you guys. It's not, not that good in the neutral. What do you know? <laughs> Not that good at a new show, except it's like the one decent damaging move I found that tracks to her weak side. Oh, of course they would do this to you. <laughs> well, all right. Maybe the first hit is okay. What's up, Dio? If I'm on player one, I go left? What do you mean? What do you mean, Nully Boy? Leo has a hop kick. I don't know if it reaches in that instance. Bloodhawk was talking about Leo's changes. He thinks she's better overall. And he's been a Leo main since she came out in Tekken 6. So I take his word, you know, for, I, I take his word for it because I don't know a jack shit about Leo. Other than, like, going through the move list like I did here. This remix is fucking fire. Ooh. I'm fighting Anna. I want to step Anna. I go, okay. If you're fighting against Anna, you're going to your left. Your left. Your left. Anna's right. If you're fighting against Anna, your left. 
so far this is the first like mid option i've seen that tracks to and uh, other than homing that tracks to anna's right side so if you see the if you if you see this move covering that side you see it coming step guard the homing move is pretty slow it's 20 frames step guard step guard step guard step guard just watch out for this Make sure if you sidestep and this hits you, like you're ready to press back. I don't like saying the clockwise shit. That's uh, that's like virtual fighter terminology. It, it, it fucks with my head. I just say, your character. Your character has a left side. Your character has a right side. Go towards your character's left side. It's not, it's not hard to grasp. You know what I'm saying? I don't know everybody thinks about it differently. Like I've heard that ja uh, Korean players talk about it as a clockwise, counterclockwise, or whatever. That just fucks with my head. It's just left and right. That's all I gotta know. If you see somebody say, "How do I step against Anna?" and they say SS SSL, what that's supposed to mean is they're saying you side sets to your left. But I see that pr improperly used all the fucking time. Which is why now I've gotten into the habit of saying, you sidestep to your left, your left, you sidestep to your right. And I'll even put emphasis saying, sidestep towards her right, your left, you know, like whatever. Because apparently that's how clear I have to be with all the misinformation that's out there these days. Virtual Fighter, I get why it's like that because Virtual Fighter, you could switch stances to open and close. You could start, you could switch to from righty to lefty. And doing that switches the way moves track. Virtual Fighter is a weird game. It's a cool game, though. So it makes sense that you would use clockwise and counterclockwise. <clears throat> Alright, so we saw that down back one tracks. And, um... Yeah, see, this one loses to the strong side. So, oh, wait... Not that negative one. Weird. This is why you test off of various things. Not at plus, apparently. <laughs> Down back two four. Oh, she has a crouching two version of down back of down one four, so she has a uh, eleven frame crouching two version, which is more damage. Yeah, three more dam, uh, two more damage. But same. Oh, and this one's plus one, negative ten, so it's one frame better overall too on block and on hit. The other one is negative eleven on block, zero on hit. That's a weird difference, but hey. Uh, mudslide. All right. Uh, me and this move, we have a history. A very long and storied history. This is her, uh, I know a lot of people call these moves snake edges. They're wrong. It's not homing. This is Anna's juggle starting low from standing. The thing about this fucking move that always throws me off is this fucking pose that she makes. Can I remove the fucking... I can't remove the pause thing, can I? Alright, I can't do it. Can I get her back here and do it? Alright. You see that? She's like showing you her ass. Right before she kicks your ass. This animation, just for some reason, my brain does not register a low is coming when I see this fucking animation. My brain registers a low is coming when a character's body gets low to the floor. And they're trying to sweep you and shit. Anna is like standing up on one leg going up and then going down with this fucking sweep. I can't. I lost count of the amount of times where I would see it coming. And as I'm playing, I would literally with my whole body go, oh, oh, and I wouldn't block it. My body goes with the fucking move. It knows it's coming. It's like, oh, oh but I'm never ready to block it. It's 27 frames, so it is seeable, but it's like... Difficult to see about this is like Dragon Ball's down back three before they nerfed it like in that last patch uh, months ago They slowed it down This is very obnoxious. Uh that last music is this tag two music. Which song? What song 
this this i'm gonna play it again because i like this song this is a tag 2 remix all right in check and tag 2 they remix jin's tekken 3 theme this is somebody else named saki xl who used to stream tag 2 he remixed it for some sort of competition so this is a remix of a remix of tekken jin's theme tekken jin's tekken 3 theme and i like it so much i'm gonna play it again so anyway yeah his name is saki xl i, I don't think he streams anymore i don't know what happened to that guy that's actually where I first started seeing Speed Kicks. He was in that chat room. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, before anybody knew who he was. Anyway, um... So yeah, this fucking low. This is your shit. This is your, like, I'm gonna test if they can see it. Especially because you're fucking playing online. Let's be real. You're gonna be a gormless motherfucker playing online. And then you're gonna do whatever, right? Uh, I don't know what the best pickup is off of this. Maybe that. I got 71 damage off of that low? 71 without even trying? Dude. I thought I've heard everyone talk about training to see that low. You have to. If you're fighting against Anna, you have to see that fucking low, dude. That low is an absolute nightmare. They're gonna get rid of that spike combo, I think. I think they're gonna remove that. That's adding a bit too much damage to their stuff, in my opinion. Oh man, I'm trying to get the core circle forward one after that. I heard you could do that, but I've never seen it. It's not easy. can't on average that what do you get after down forward th oh i see uh. that's the tag two pickup because you can tag cancel out of that <sighs> oh, 72 damage. Is it the same damage? 72? That's fucking low. I'm having like PTSD flashbacks right now. In case you couldn't tell. That's another thing. Even if it doesn't track, it's so slow that if you just step and try to step guard, it's going to clip you in that exact way. But I think it does fuck up her juggle if, it, if that happens. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it does not. It makes her pick up weaker at least. You could definitely sidewalk around it. But you can't really step around it. It's too slow. You have to step late, I think. Uh, 
Uh, this remix, and this is when you were asking about, this is from DR. It's the DR remix of the Waterfall stage. This is the DR version of the credits theme. Yeah, no, you can't step this. You have to walk it. What? Whoa! Are you kidding me? It's negative 17? Negative 17? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Why is that negative 17? Why? Fucking what? I'm not, I don't care that Anna is having trouble punishing negative 17. That, that's whatever. That's a Kazumi. I'm mad that this fucking triplo is negative 17. That shit should be like negative 25. That shit should be negative 25. That's crazy. But that should be like at least in like 23 or something, not 17. Think about Heihachi. Heihachi can't block punish that. Where is he? Why is that? Oh god, why is that negative 17? Even if it always was that, like, they've done such a good job of, like, making moves like that worse on block. This feels like an oversight. This feels like they rushed it, like, we gotta get Anna in the game. Just get her in there. Get her. Copy paste. Copy paste frame data. We don't care. And they didn't put any work into, like, shit like that, man. Fuck. Oh, man. That's crazy. I can't believe that's negative 17. Are you fucking shitting me right now? Ow, oh, that hurt my fucking finger. <laughs> yeah, it's not happening. It's not happening. Bad matchup. <laughs> Oh, man, that is absurd. That is absurd. I don't know how much he needs. I don't know how much he needs to get the election from Crouch. I just wanted to see a couple of times if I could do it. Oh, man. You know who else won't? Like I already said it. Uh, Kazumi won't launch you for it. Her hot kick. Watch her hot kick whiff. Her hot kick is so shitty. Let's talk about a character who got shafted. Negative 17, man. I can't fucking believe it. Oh. I'm shocked. Not from here, though. Jesus Christ. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this! I'm surprised the wall standing four reaches. God, are you kidding me with this shit right now? Okay. I landed that uh, uh, yesterday and I wasn't ready for the kind of knockup it was. It looked really weird. It does a uh, weird carry, weird, uh, weird pickup. You know, I said it, I said it before. Anna is not a very fun character to fight against. And it's still looking like that's the case. I mean, yeah, they took away a couple of things like the counter hit low launcher off of sidestep two. You know, the down back one mix up I just talked about. It's like mid to low level gimmicky shit that was very annoying to deal with. That like higher level players didn't give a shit about really. They took that kind of stuff away a little bit. But now, you know, they forgot a few things, clearly. <laughs> they forgot a few things. What about Horang? 
Uh, up back three. I mean, I'll test him last. One more then, sure. I don't know how up back three's range is. I think it's pretty good. This dumb eye patch motherfucker. What's up, Socrates? Red Flamingo down forward force plus one now? Is Lucky Chloe good now? I've heard she is. I have not looked through her stuff yet. Her changes. She has a lot of changes. Right foot forward. Plus one on hit. I'm sure he'll be all right. Yeah, that, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, that has a lot of range. That's fine. Yeah, he got no problems. Even if it whiffs. Oh, I don't remember where right Flamingo down forward four is. Oh, really? Huh. Horang. They always make Horang strong. He's never been below, like, high mid, I think. Typically in tier lists. He, and he always does a fucking buttload of damage. All right, well, down back three is still a fucking BS move. I hope you guys could see 27 frame lows. I sure have issues seeing it. Oh, oh, oh man, this is another classic. Mudslide. Severe quake. This is the uh, roller skates lows, right? Ugh, ugh, this ugly ass lows. All right. So this is counter hitting. Uh, uh, combo. Yeah, so natural on counter hit. Right? Very delayable. Like, you could press the second kick four after the first. So there is... But if you do that, you lose the uh, counter hit combo. But that's not the important part. The first kick, uh, this is 25 frames, so it's uh, somewhat seeable too. But it is negative 7 on hit, but that's not the fucked up part. Fucked up part is the second low on counter hit is a chuckle starter. Because of fucking course it is. A fucking course it's a chuckle starter. Ah. I think this used to knock down. If you counter hit on the first one, I think this used to knock down. But now it's negative 5. I might be wrong about that. Uh, 35 damage. It, it, uh, it follows you a little bit. You have to like come, fully commit to a walk to get around it if you go left. Which is where you're generally going because this that's her weak side. And while, at, oh, while standing four exchanges. So crouch that. If you block the first hit, that's not a great reward unless you're geese. <laughs> Negative 18 on the first low. Uh, I'm pretty sure if the first low hits you, the second is low parable. Still, because it's so slow. Let's see. No, oh, I was wrong. If the first low hits you, you cannot low parry the second low. Oh, and the second low is only negative 16. Negative 16. Oh, and there's a built-in mix-up because they kept it for this one, I guess. I don't know why. The uh, second one on normal hit didn't, right? It, it, it didn't give a juggle. 
No, it didn't. Okay, just being sure. That also combos. Check that out. That probably gives a free follow up. No, Shivako is pretty slow, actually. No, okay. Shivako is slow. I'll try down three just in case. <coughs> oh, wow. That didn't come out that fast. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so definitely nothing guaranteed. Same situation on counter hit. Uh, what is that where she turns blue? This? Oh no, um, that's um, you see this recovery animation option. What that's telling you is when she's blue, she's in some sort of recovery, hit or block. So you cannot do anything until the blue goes away. It's just a way to see like uh, frame data, basically. That's all that it is. All right, so what's down back four four on block? Negative twenty. Ooh, high risk, high risk, and you need a counter hit on the low to get a juggle. So it's not great without the counter hit. Is that negative twenty that forces crouch? Yeah, that forces crouch. Okay, we'll get to that later. Uh, weeping slap, armor move. Oh, that's just a straight up backhand. Thirty damage, armor move. Twenty frame mid. Um. Negative 13 on block. Mm -hmm. Wall splats. This probably gets something guaranteed near the wall. Because they have to slide on the floor. The only reason you're not getting anything guaranteed mid-stage is because um, they, they, uh, they got knocked back too far. So this is definitely one of those that near the wall, you're going to get like something like that. I don't know. Let's see how it picks up. Yeah, key charge is just a way to test counter hit. Sorry, if, you know, if that's what you meant. In case you're wondering, key charge, uh, when you do a key charge, you cannot block. Uh, but the next hit that lands on from either you or your opponent, if your opponent hits you, it's going to be a counter hit. So you may see characters or like people that play characters that have a low counter hit thing, like a law. law. He has a low counter hit launcher that's uh, 16 frames st startup, I think. Yeah, I think his is 16, down 3-4. So he'll do a key charge, and he'll run up and down 3-4 or down forward 3-4, which is a 13-frame mid counter hit launcher. Or 14. 13 or 14, something like that. Why did that happen? Lei Oolong. Aha! See? So it's just like the uh, forward 3-2 knockdown. Is there down plus 2p? What? Well, down plus 2p? What's down plus 2p? Okay, uh, I get what you're saying. You're saying down plus both punches. This is the way you gotta type that. You gotta type that like this. And yes, it's unblockable, but you could sidestep it. It is very linear. 
That's fine, it's fine. Uh, look up Tekken Zaibatsu if you want to see what the legend is. That's what they call it, the legend. So you can see the uh, terminology and shit. It's a bunch of nonsense. Because, like, the reason why you want to learn that is because when you ask questions like that, I'm like, what are you trying to say? And then I got to decipher what you're trying to say, you know? Uh, yeah, that's fine. No, it's cool. Right. It's fine. Feel free to ask. If you're confused about a terminology, feel free to ask. If I miss it, I'm sure somebody in the chat will help you out. We're a helpful bunch here, I promise. All right, so Weeping Slap, submit armor move. Let's see how it tracks. And we already saw we got free stuff near the wall. Not not so much mid-stage, though. Whew, okay. Uh, has it got any... Oh, I got only a little bit left here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm losing steam here, guys. It's going to have to be a two-parter, like always. Very linear. Whoa! Once again, you want to go left. <laughs> oh, wow. Even then, even if it's inconsistent like it is there, you want to go left. You don't want to go right. There was no counter hit properties, right? All right, just making sure. That is a lot of damage, though, so that's not a terrible one, but... Not great. Stalker repellent. Here we go. Yet another seeable dangerous low. I mean, I don't know why you would do it over... Uh, well, it is... Okay, it's 24 frames. That's why. So this is like... Not... It's seeable, but it's it's hard to see. And it crushes highs. I don't know how fast. So this is like Leo's where... Um, or Kazuya's where if you don't input the follow-up, it doesn't knock down no matter what. But it is 27 damage on the low by itself. But, you know, you always want to input the follow. Reason being, it's going to knock back. And it's going to wall splat if you're near the wall. Just like, think of, treat it like Kazuya's Hell Sweet Punch. Way more damage. That's a lot of fucking damage. This song is cool. I hate Tekken 6, but I miss this uh, music. Yep, high crush. At the very least, when you trip her, when you block, you get the uh, trip stun. But look at how low to the floor her body is. Right? Certain characters, they might whiff uh, on their while standing launcher on that. I don't think Anna's going to have a problem because her while standing launcher has a good hitbox. But let's say maybe Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball has historically had an issue while standing two with his while standing two on moves like this. What's the second hit on block? I try to push it at struggle. I'll check it in a sec. Because if the first hit whips, she will be able to do the second hit, right? That's how that works. It is a high, I think. So keep that in mind also. Even if it's safe, it's a high. So if you react in time, you could duck and launch her. shocked. I don't know if you can believe this, but Nina's while standing 1, 1 plus 2 has low profile that very launcher. Now, they did buff the hitbox of that launcher. Back when they uh, nerfed this to make it slower, they buffed the hitbox of while standing 2. I bet you if this was before then, that shit would have whiffed. Whiff City on that one for sure. Negative uh, 7. So you got to duck. Yeah, so negative seven. There you go. Uh, it doesn't need clean hit. It's like Kazuya's uh, Hell Sweep. It just does more damage on clean hit, I think. Or maybe whatever. Uh, if she inputs the follow-up, it trips. If she doesn't, it doesn't trip. I think Leo's uh, down back four or one plus two is like that also. Or down back four, two, whatever. 
WR is while running, correct. Yeah, um, yeah, the reason why Rice seems like a better term is because it's used in other 3D fighters. But Tekken, everybody has unique moves at a while, while running state, so we need WR for something. So we say while standing. That's the only reason. Like, uh, Soul Calibur calls it while rising, you know? Even though there are while running moves in Soul Calibur also, but they're like universal moves, so people don't really care as much about it there. Also, it, it, it makes it even more confusing that the move list labels them as while rising. <laughs> I know about that. I don't I see I think it's always clean hit if she inputs the follow-up just like hell uh, cuz we as hell sweep is like that too look oops See it's always clean hit if I input the follow-up. Oh, sorry. Uh oh <laughs> Uh oh Uh oh you got me red-handed <laughs> You call me red-handed I'm wrong. You're right. Duck the fu- uh, so if it's not- But man, that range. You have to be like, at the super tip of that move. It's not like it's Feng's uh, sidestep four here. You have to be at the very fucking tip. I think it's cause she moves forward when she does it too. Yeah, she definitely moves forward when she does it. Alright, good catch. Let me make sure I'm right about Kazuya though. <laughs> I gotta double check my facts here. Let me just uh, real quick. Uh, hold up a second here. <sighs> you sure he doesn't have a clean hit property? He did before. He did before, uh, in DR, I think it was, or 5.0, maybe it was 5.0, because I remember I was trying to find the, uh, just frame hell sweep, whatever, the one that, where he doesn't trip you with the low, but he still gets the mid on you standing, and it, uh, had a clean hit property back then. Side hit shenanigans, yeah. Leo's always gonna trip you. If Leo inputs the follow up, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. I was wrong earlier. <laughs> yeah, see? No clean hit property here, though. Oh, take that back. <laughs> but Leo's is like a natural combo. Is that, that's more what's going on here. It's not a trip low. Clean hit just uh, gives Leo more damage. Which is how Kazuya's health sweep used to work. It got more damage when he was closer to you. Cool, Mondo, cool. Mondo, cool. Thanks for the follow, Tip Totino. Totino. Well, anyway. Does Devil Dan knock that? Devil Man knock down with no follow up? Yeah, it does if it's clean hit. Uh, this is the last one of these that I'll do just to show you. Unless that got changed. But by the way, that's the same weakness with Devil Man. You could always back that shit and it doesn't clean hit you fairly often, which means it doesn't combo. That's why Demoman is only really threatening in a situation where you tech or at the wall. See? But the moment it's not clean hit, you can block the follow-up, which is not very far away, as you can see. See? That's probably his best combo now, right? The Just Frame version? 
since they nerfed the uh, that fist damage. It's best B and B off of like down forward two and hop kick. I mean. Speaking of Horang, it's another one of my favorite classic Tekken themes. Yep, that's what I just did there. I missed the just frame, but you know, you, you would be correct. That would be his best ender now, yep. Ooh, okay. Let's see. How many moves does she have? Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. And she has a chain grab, huh? Yeah, this is going to be a two-parter for sure. What the fuck? Dendrobates Azurus. What are, what are they? Like... These were English words, and then all of a sudden we go to here, and like, what the fuck am I even reading? <laughs> Fucking Anna moves, dude. They just ran out of, like, words. They're like, oh, we'll just pull up some shit from another language, I guess. Alright, so Stalker Repellent, very good low. We didn't test the tracking. <clears throat> Stalker Repellent is really good. That's a lot of fucking damage. Especially near the wall. Oh my god, I can't even fucking imagine. Are you kidding me? Anna has a lot of really good lows. I mean, from standing, she only has like three good lows, right? And it's really mainly like the low poke. Stalker repellent and mudslide aren't as good versus really sharp good players. Oh, by the way, what I forgot to say about mudslide is it crushes highs. I forgot to tell you guys that, by the way. Even though it looks like it shouldn't because she stands up on one foot like a jackass, it totally crushes highs. She totally crushes highs. She don't give a fuck about highs. Is three three four one good? Uh, yeah, I explained why earlier. I'm gonna upload this to the YouTube. Three three four one is okay. One thing you gotta realize is it is plus on block and on counter hit. You get a juggle counter hit on the last hit only. If the last hit hits by itself on on not that that was because she was on the side, but if the last hit connects by itself counter hit when they're facing you, not on the side. You gotta you get a combo like that. And you gotta be ready to pick him up with like down four and one. And then it's also uh, frame advantage on block. See? Plus two on block. Which means you can frame trap with standing four. Magic four. Which you could also combo out of. Right? See? <clears throat> Uh, the last hit could be sidestepped though, but people have to do their homework and actually do it during the match Which most people don't what's down back one plus two on block negative 13 back to two you have to uh, Well, if you're playing a female you could slap her when she hits you <laughs> slap her back Timing's a little strict and you can't really mash it out Which I'm, I'll get there soon Because we're one move away. Let's uh, two moves away stalker repellent. I want to test the tracking on first uh, but down back one plus two, her armor move is negative 13 on block. Yeah, I figured that would be like that. Oh, once again, sidestep left. Oops. Yep. You gotta go left. Alright, cross cut saw. Back one, two, two. Okay, this string. I talked about this when I looked over her shit in tag two. This is a string you wanna do when you sidestep left. Like kinda like Kazumi sidestep left two one and she gets weird properties. This is less weird, it makes sense. I like Kazumi's side switching shit. First thing you want to notice is she automatically sidesteps left, right? Now the first two hits are natural. And you could delay the last hit quite a bit. And it's only negative 14. So even without what I'm about to show you, it's already good as like a way to stop people from swinging 
the first two hits. Negative one on hit. Negative 12 on block, right? But really, where this move starts to shine is when you sidestep left and do the whole string. It all connects because you hit them on their side and they cannot block the last hit. You have to put zero delay. Is forward one plus four good to get off me move? Forward one plus four is not a unique move. Forward, you mean forward one four? Forward one plus four is not a unique move. I don't know what you, you had to clarify what you're talking about there. Anyway, my music is over, so I'm just going to play the Saki XL remix again. Forward two, three. Uh, it's a risky one. It's a shoulder style move, which is to say it's a fast mid that knocks back. Uh, but that's a get off me move. Mm, uh, it's risky. Most people won't fully punish this. You, you know, even though everybody, 99% of the characters in the game could block, uh, could block this and launch you. Most people are gonna lose like their 13 or 10 frame Punisher. You know, like Anna will probably do this to you. <laughs> So you might, you probably, especially if you're playing online, you're gonna get away with it a lot. So it's not the worst thing in the world, but uh, don't make it too much of a habit. As you learn the game, you'll like find better ways to get people off of you. Let's put it that way, right? Like if you want to take a, a risk as a get off me move for two frames slower and only negative 13 on block instead of negative 17 on block, you can do this, which goes under jabs, under highs also, down three two. If they happen to get counter hit because they're pressuring you, you get a launch and then you can juggle them. And it's way less risk. You follow? At the wall, bounces the back pretty far. I didn't check that. Interesting. So it's better at the wall, huh? Wow, that does push back now that I think about it. Yeah. Interesting. Usually when you see moves that push back that way, you want to check them at the wall. For some reason, I didn't think to check that. Well, I, I guess it's because I was thinking, it's a shoulder. It's going to be awful at the wall, but that's not always the case now, is it? I guess it's not really a shoulder either, isn't it? It's her ass. Ooh, look at that. All right, when you're up close, it's, it's pretty much the same as it is mid-stage, but they block it shallow. You get a little more spacing out of it. But you are still negative 16, so I think most characters will be able to reach you with something. Now, the question is whether they're going to be ready for it or not. Because honestly, you could just do it two back to back. <laughs> do it, they whiff, bam, do another one. <laughs> do it, they whiff, or that, if you want to stay safe. Which is also us for that. That dangerous ass. Yeah, you could probably get a lot of whiff like launchers, but if uh, people are aware, they do their long range shit. Every, most characters have a long range like knockdown kind of move that would hit in that frame range. Like a Kazumi 3-2, uh, for example, would probably reach. So yeah, I talked earlier about this. Side step left. You could uh, connect this on the side. Oh, she's turning with me. See, I have her set to stand guard all. Stand guard, stand to guard all. So like, in theory, right? In practice, rather. Wait, sidestep, sidestep left. Oh, it's back one. I'm like, what? What the fuck is not coming out? So if you respond with like jabs, oh, oh I forgot. Anna has the uh, tracking jabs. Let's respond with a down forward too. Oh, sorry, down forward one, rather. All 
Alright, so that was too slow. Let's do a down forward one too then. Okay. Let's do a deeper side step. There's a sweet spot here. That's for sure. Damn it. There it is. All right, you just, you have to step pretty deep. It's not as good as Kazumi's, who only needs a slight sidestep up close. And it has to sidestep for a while. And also, it depends on the move that you ca the opponent responds with. And they respond with, like, a string or a big move. Like that. See? Guaranteed. But they respond with something that recovers fast enough. You're not going to quite get around them enough. Down for one side step. Yeah, that would be a similar situation because it's also a negative three, right? Well, not really, but. All right, it's a weird, that's an awkward cancel for me. I'm having try trouble doing it, but I'll try. Also, that's not a great sidestep. Like they have to be like really delayed on their on their inputs to fall for it. You see how she barely moves sidesteps? That doesn't look right. Yeah, it's I would use that cancel for uh, for the sidestep moves, not for that setup. What do I think of her movement? She she feels average on her sidestepping. Not above or below, just average. Uh, well, she can't land Stalker Repellent after that. That's not a combo. But the back 1-2-2 two, two is good damage. 50 damage, knockback, that's good. And it's only, like, if you fuck it up, it's only negative 11, so that's not bad. Yeah, so you just kind of familiarize yourself with how deep of a sidestep you need. And even then, you don't have to calculate it to that extent. It's just every once in a while, if you notice that you land and you're like at the side when you land the second hit, by all means, do the third. You could almost confirm it, I want to say. As long as you don't delay the third like too much, they shouldn't be able to turn and block in time. See, like there, they might be able to block. But like there, they're definitely not going to block the third hit. Also, let me test the uh, second hit on counter hit. Yeah, second hit on counter hit also gives it a third. You cannot delay the second hit, but you can delay the third. And if you, uh, even if you counter hit with the second hit, delaying the third will not work. Backdash distance is universal. No, it's not. They reverted that change real quick. Uh, Eddie's backdash is beyond average in, in, uh, in regards to how much space he creates, but his dumbass hands are still sticking out. So he actually has trouble when he's like right in your face. If you put if he put him in a like heavy negative situation, he has trouble escaping things that other characters don't have trouble escaping. And Eddie has like the worst sidestep in the game, next to uh, Gigas. Gigas has the be uh, amongst the worst sidestep and backdashing in the game. Um, yeah, no, that's wrong. Some are better than others. You're right. Um, Eddie's backdash is good when he's already spaced. When he's already spaced, he gets away from fucking everything, and then he creates a shitload of space, and it's like, don't even swing at him. You're gonna eat a down forward three plus four, and then you're gonna get launched. And you're gonna get pissed off. And All right, so we talked about this move. The first hit probably tracks to her left because she's moving left, but we might as well check it, right? Yep, 
Yeah, see? Surprise, surprise. She's moving left, so of course it's going to track to her left. Like everything else does. <laughs> All right, next. Somebody asked about this before. Back to two. This is a homing move. Double slap. You could sidestep the second hit. I just found out by accident, apparently. <laughs> I didn't even realize that shit. So even if you're not a female character, the counter is the other way. But that, that only matters on hit. All right, if you sidestep the other way, you're going to get slapped. Guaranteed down back three. Also, there's a Twitter thing I shared where she's able to turn this into a 15 frame launcher on Kuma. Because she could pick up. But other otherwise, she gets a down back three. Not a bad 15 frame punish, as you can see. How can she slap? How can she slap? Uh, you could break the floor with up four, three plus four. So, 15 frame launcher on everybody in the floor break stage. So figure out your juggle off of that. Uh, so here's the thing. We uh, talked about this earlier. Female characters only. You can slap her back after the first slap. And you can get into a slap fight. They gave this to Nina because I'm assuming they didn't think Anna was coming back at the time. Right? See? And then you get the follow-up. <laughs> and, like, Nina might get something even better. Who fucking knows? <laughs> like, the other female characters, except Katarina, apparently, I've heard. But the other female characters might get better follow-ups. <laughs> it's fucking weird. It's really weird. It's a dumb Easter egg that they added in the game. And it's unfortunate that it messes with her 15 frame Punisher, honestly. I like those dumb Easter eggs when they, when they attach it to useless moves, right? Moves that don't mean shit otherwise. But when you attach it to a move that you're trying to make useful, like, come on, man. Just let her get a 15... <laughs> you, you know, give her a 15 frame. You gave Steve a 15 frame Punisher in this game. Give her a 15 frame with a follow-up. It does do, a, like, a lot of damage, though. So was it, uh, 30 plus 16, so 46 damage. That's, that's pretty good damage. <laughs> Red flags on cat. Uh, oh, boy, here we go. Chaos judgment. How long, have I, how long have I been at it? I've been at it for three and a half hours, so I think I should probably call it here. Chaos judgment is a good place to stop. And then, wow, there's a lot more moves. And then in the part two, maybe this might be a three-parter, but I'm going to try to make this a two-parter. Here's what I will say. Reminder, we started the stream with this. Well, we were going to start it, but early in the stream, we talked about this. And this is a lot more of you here now. This is a very important thing about this character in case you don't know it already, right? Whether you're playing as her or against her. Chaos Judgment. Anytime you see this... This is Chaos Judgment, which is abbreviated to C-A-T, Cat Stance, when you, when you type it up in the chat or read, read about combos. This is Cat. Chaos Judgment has uh, two unique properties. Sorry, three, because she can also cancel into Crouch Shash if you press down forward out of it. So that's another poor property. And yes, that does go under highs when she does that. There's two more unique properties with Chaos Judgment Stance. Jab, Chaos Judgment, right? If you do a low, she auto hop kicks it. She auto hop kicks the low. The only way this does not happen against a low. Also, special mid, not special mid, but cross jab. She also does that. Cross jab also, because cross jab is unique. Not all special mids. Not like Geese is standing too, but like cross jab, she'll do it too. Um, the only time that this will not happen against the low is if it counts as a knee, which I don't know if there are any l l l low knees in the game right now. An uh, elbow, I don't know if there are any low elbows. I think there are, I think there are low elbows in the game right now. I, I don't remember which ones I was on my head. Uh, a low headbutt, uh, if there are any. Uh, and a low shoulder, those kinds of things. The same things that generic reversals can't count there. Who has a low shoulder? Feng Wei, quarter circle forward one. Um, so that, uh, that, that's what's, uh, going on here. Yes, Feng's, uh, Feng has a low headbutt? Yeah, he does, right, when he's on the floor? 
All right, another thing. No, no, Feng's low is a shoulder, not a headbutt. Yeah, it's a shoulder. Not this is low slide as a knee. Yes, I think you're right about that. Uh, my classic example used to be Marduk down four, which is which is fucking awesome in this matchup. I have a 14 frame low poke to just make her eat shit for going into the stance. It was great. Anyway, um, the other thing, you cannot grab her during this. You cannot grab her. You can't. You can't grab her. She automatically counters it, and you cannot chicken that counter. That reversal. So you cannot grab her. You cannot go low, and then she could also duck, uh, cancel into a cross dash and go under uh, highs, right? Or she could go under highs by doing this, right? So two ways to go under highs, right? Uh, so what you have to do, she cannot block in the stance. You have to basically find a quick mid to hit her out of it. Unless it's a frame advantage situation for her. Your only answer to the stance, if you don't want to guess a mix-up, is to hit her with a mid. Get your fastest, like, mid poke, whatever, uh, locked and loaded. Does the grab damage pace change based on the grab? Good question. I don't think it does, but I tried, like, a um, command grab before. What's her... Um, what's her grab? There it is. Okay. Nah, it seems to always be 25. I think in Tekken Tag 1, like in the older game, she had different animations based on the throw. I think in earlier games she did. But here, it's like always 25. And it doesn't switch sides. Okay, so it, it, it doesn't seem to switch sides either. So, yeah. Yeah, I did down forward, down forward one. Oh, up forward. That's what it was. Okay. I yeah, see so you're still 25 damage. So, yeah. That's the important thing to know about this stance. So, even when she goes into it at negative frames, you have to be careful how you attack her. You really do. I'm sure there's a certain range of negative frames where she will be unable to go under highs with cross dash. I don't know what that is yet. Um. But yeah, that's that's the whole thing with Chaos Judgment. Uh, it's been used in situations where, like, good Ana players. I think I see Chanel maybe use it in a situation where it's like, I want to guess that I'm put in a situation on defense where I want to guess. My guess is you're going to do a low, but I don't want to commit to, like, a hop kick or a low crush, and I don't want to commit to ducking, right? So I'm just going to do, uh, sorry, this. And he did that shit. And then he just fucking crushed. <laughs> auto crush with the hop kick. Mind you, she could do the hop kick without uh, without the auto crush too. Up forward four out of that stance. Is uh, also a hop kick. So. that She has that going on too. I already tested it against the demon flick grab. Does not work. What about against the wall when up close? What do you mean? The grab? Well, I mean, that, that leaves her close. I don't know if she has any follow-ups. I guess I'll get into that next time. But yeah, I've been at it for a while, and I haven't stood up the whole time. So it's a good place to call it, I guess. I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate all the follows. And uh, Cross from before hooked it up with the big 20 and the big uh, sub. So, you know, hope you guys learned some stuff. I know I did. And uh, I'll be back soon enough. Oh, Bloodhawk is on. I'll host him right back. Playing Tekken. He's playing Tekken. Watch Bloodhawk. He's really good. I'm going to host him after I go off. Next time I pop up, I'll be playing more Yakuza. But the next time I play Tekken, I'll be continuing with the Anna thing. I don't have a confirmed time frame on when yet because I work all morning. I wake up very early and I come back home very exhausted. And I feel like I need a lot of energy for this. So, if not during the week, I'll finish Anna next week. <laughs> but I think I'm going to try it during the week one day, all right? So, because I don't want to like, try to remember everything I got here in a week, right? All right, so I'll see you guys when I see you. Have a good evening and all that good shit.